Sure. Haha, it is a Monday afternoon, but it is a holiday week for me. Haha, I'm taking a, a little bit of a break, and I like playing games. I like running games, I like playing games, and so we are getting together on a Monday afternoon, and I'm entitling this episode, The Two V's Learn Chain of Command. By V's, I mean Vance. Barthart, how are you? Hello, hello. And we have Velker. How are you doing, man? <clears throat> Well, do you remember what school is since you've been out of it for so long right at by this point? <laughs> Par partiality. Good. You're and I can see your enunciation and pronunciation are doing well. That's good to see. But we are all in good health. We have all survived Christmas and uh, all the other related festivities. And so what better way to uh, to move from that than to play some war games? That's what I think. And so I thought I would show Vance, who I, and I've said this for a lot of time, Vance and I have known each other for a bunch of time, and Vance is always really, really nice and plays black powder games with me. Uh, <laughs> and and I, I often say I owe him whiffs of diesel from time to time. And I love Chain of Command uh, by Two Fat Lardies. I think it's a terrific, fun system. But I also think it's really a nice historical system. I think it gets a lot of things right that some other systems in this space don't. Um, that doesn't mean I'm going to get everything right as we go through this. That never happens that way, not ever. Um, and so certainly those of you that follow along have never been shy about pointing out when I screw things up. And I doubt that there will be any changes uh, this in this instance. So let me go visit the live stream just so I could see. I'm curious to know if anybody shows up. And, you know, you, you never know. Oh, oh, God. Yeah, we have three viewers. It's good to see you. Whoever you <laughs> Beat Cafe! Hooray! Woo! Good Beat to see you. Cafe. I haven't seen you in a while, man. I hope you had a good Christmas. Anyway, Chain of Command. It is a, for those who don't know, I, I suppose there might be some who don't, it's a tactical system set in World War II. And today we're going to be playing one of the introductory scenarios, which is just a probing attack, uh, or a probe, I should say, in which case neither side is on the defense as such. And uh, Velker is going to play the Germans, and we're going to get to why he's going to play the Germans in just a second. And Barth is going to play the good guys, the Americans, um, uh, in, his, in his role over here. Who do we have for troops? Well, let's start with the Americans, since that's the side of the board that I'm on. The way Chain of Command thinks, it, its basic unit is right here, and it's the infantry platoon. We have Lieutenant Nicholas Pure, who is a senior leader armed with a carbine. That's him right there. He's the, uh, he's the head guy. We also have his team that comes with him, which is a bazooka gunner and a bazooka loader. Those two guys. He also comes with a sergeant, another senior leader, armed with an SMG. And we said, in this case, it is Sergeant S.J.C. Buck Paducah. I will leave the challenge out there for those who are following along at home. Where did I take their names from? Where did I take their names from? Trivia question. So this is who comes, these four gentlemen, minus him, they come with the senior leader when he deploys. They're sort of his support dudes. Over here we have Corporal Valdemar Velker. You know where that comes from. Um, and his squad, which includes the BAR gunner, the BAR assistant, and a BAR rifleman. So this is a team those three fellows. And then you have the squad of eight riflemen. Secondly, we have Cap Corporal Denny Dumkey a, with his submachine gun. He too has a BAR team and he too has his riflemen. And finally, last and certainly not least, Corporal George Barado, junior leader, his BAR team, and his riflemen. So those are his guys. Those are the fellows. And this is pretty much a bog standard chain of command unit, as it is a historical American squad. Um, and we're going to, or platoon, I should say. And so, and we're going to add to that as we go through other videos and as we learn more about the system. But that's what we're going to play with today. What does Velker have? Velker's apparently been drawing on his table. Organize. I see that. I, I see didn't that. organize. I never I did. do that. Come I was. On. I'm a little freaked out by that, actually, to tell you the truth. Wait, how how do you draw on a table and have it stay? Every time we draw on something, it goes away as soon as you 
change your view or something. No, no, no. It's it's just your it's it's not magic. Stop it. It's just using your uh, pencil. It's using your draw tool. Suck it from the top. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'll, I don't want to derail the your thing, but but yeah, it's, just, uh, it's, it's to be done. It's, it's he yeah. he doesn't do it. The um, so he's got Unterfeldwebel Kurt Reich with his machine pistol. He's also got a Panzer Shrek team and the Panzer Shrek loader. So that's his guy. Over, You'll notice he doesn't have that second senior leader that the Americans have. Why? Because by 1944, the period we're in, most of the good German senior leaders were dead. There was a real paucity of those troops by 1944. He has Obergefreiter Hans Gruber. He has the MG-42, obviously, you know, one of the great strengths of the German army. And he has the six riflemen in the squad. He has Obergefreiter Ludwig Lover Schneider. And he has Obergefreiter Oskar Zimmer. Oh, yes. Thank you. And you will notice that one of the things that the Germans come equipped with, one soldier in each unit is equipped with a Panzerfaust. One use only. But that is correct. It was probably only fair that you tell Vance that. (laughs) Surprise, Panzerfaust! Surprise, Panzerfaust! (laughs) Exactly. Oh, That would be surprising. Yes, Red, you did hear Vance. He's come to hang out. It's Jeff at Vance at Bee Cafe. We've got eight people watching Monday at noon. Bless you guys. Uh, <laughs> Watch war games at lunch. Watching your war. It's your war game lunch. Exactly. That's that's it's what it alone. is. It's like you're at a con all over. It's, it's like you're at a con. If somebody go get nachos. Um, each nation in chain of command has a special national ability that varies. What do the Germans have? They have the German, two, they have two. They have Maschinengewehr. What does that mean? They place a lot of emphasis on their squad level machine guns. Okay? When a leader is attached to a machine gun team and uses two or more initiatives to direct fire, you can add that many D6 to the fire. So you get to add two extra <laughs> dice. <laughs> In addition, and this is why Velker chose to be the Germans, their special ability is Handgranaten. This was actually developed by the Germans during the First World War. This is the stormtrooper tactics in which they attack with a volley of grenades and then get stuck in with the rifle butt, entrenching tool, or bayonet with the cry Handgranaten from the squad leader. To reflect this, when a leader attached to a team or squad uses two command initiatives he can lead a charge against enemy in any in enemy infantry within 12 inches which is preceded by a hail of hand grenades he rolls a die to determine how many <laughs> hand grenades he throws and then they uh they then try to roll in and uh, go fight now they don't automatically get in they have to roll 3d6 to tr- just like they always do to try to initiate the close combat, but that is their their two special abilities, and obviously a lot of this will make more sense once we know their uh, how the game works. But it's important to know that they have these special abilities because, as much as we kid about it, I don't want it to come as a terrible surprise. How about <laughs> the uh, Americans? They have two as well. The first is marching fire. You, and uh, this actually comes from General Patton, uh, who said, Use marching fire. If no visual target, carry rifles at hip level and fire every step. Fire, fire, fire. Keep a heavy volume ahead of you, and it'll keep the krauts down. When a leader is attached to a team or squad and uses two or more command initiatives, they may move 1d6 and fire at full effect, or move with 2d6 and fire with half their normal dice. And they re-roll any ones rolled. Wow. So it's just they can basically march forward. The other is Scout, which is rather interesting. Uh, with a history of using fieldcraft to aid them, 
the U.S. Infantry Squad has two men in each rifle team ready to form a scout team. When a U.S. squad leader sends out his two-men scout team, they can move 1d6 or 2d6 and assume a tactical stance at the end of their movement. If they are within the line of sight of their squad leader, he can activate them for one command initiative without being in command range. So you can break off two guys from each of your teams. What are your teams? Those are obviously your separate groups here. Now, they're going to be fragile, but you can send them out to poke around outside of regular command range. So, the way this scenario works, and it's one of the coolest features of, in my judgment, of Chain of Command, is every game begins with a patrol phase. Now, uh, Vance, I know Velker has, but Vance, you've also played Sharp Practice, and you're going to see a lot of similar mechanisms uh, that okay. are borrowed between the two. So this won't be completely unfamiliar to you. But uh, let me get up the scenario real quick just so that I can read straight from it, which always helps me make sense of myself. There we go. As again we say, this is the patrol phase. So what we're going to do is each of you is going to roll a D6. And what that's going to determine, the board is divided into three sectors, each of these sectors being two feet in, in width. Do I have the wrong measures up? I fear I do. There we go. So what we're going to do, each of you is going to roll 1d6. On a 1 or a 2, you're, de you're going to start deploying over here on your left. And obviously, Vance, it'll be over, for Velker, it'll be over here on his left. On a 3 or a 4, it's going to be in the center. And on a 5 or a 6, it'll be over on the right. So if I can ask each of you to please roll a 1d6. So you're going to be over here. We oui. You get a six as well. Oh dear. So you're both going to be over here. So the main thing you're going to do is you're going to grab your uh, grab your patrol marker. Each of you has four, parenthetically. And Vance, we're going to place that at 12 inches. So we're going to lock it right there. Excellent. And so you got that, and then Velker on the field, or off? it's on the field. It's on the, it's on the field in the middle. So Velker, yours is there. Very good. This is where your patrolling is going to start. This is where you're going to start poking around. Um, let me see here. I want to make sure that's what I would have thought. And now I'm going to go over here. Force morale is one of the most important pieces in any of these games. It, because the point of any two fat lardy game is not to kill all the other guys. It is instead to break the morale of your opponents. So we have to determine your base force morale if i can ask each of you to please roll a 1d6 neither of you are green or elite so a nine and an eight Velker, you start with a nine or with an eight i should say yeah and vance has an eight so you got your nine over there I only have one advantage. you only have an advantage of one correct now that means you also begin patrolling what is patrolling you're going to take this marker, and in this case, Vance, your marker, and you're going to move 12 inches away from it. Terrain doesn't matter. You put it anywhere you want. What you're trying to do, and what this is trying to simulate, is your forward troops feeling their way along the battlefield. Each marker you place, and you're going to take turns, goes 12 inches away, as far as 12 inches away from previous. It can go no farther. At any time, if you come within 12 inches of an opponent marker, both your markers are locked down and can no longer be maneuvered. Once that happens, once, once one side's markers are locked, this phase mm -hmm. ends and we go to deployment points. So, Velker, since you do have the higher force morale, you go first. Place your first marker. Or move, and obviously that's your starting point. 
right. It is placed. Vance, you get to place a marker 12 right. inches away from that one. I don't like being in the wheat. I understand you don't like being Out in the, the wheat. Boonies. Velker next. <laughs> you are not demonstrating a subtle strategy. I like how. <laughs> This apparently, Velker has determined this is his house. I like house. I get it. House is cozy. Oh. Let's try this. Hey, Haz. Mike, shouldn't you be working or are you taking the day off too? Just pick up one of those, would you? Gotta pull it quickly. Yeah, just grab it quick. Velker, you are ridiculous. You know that. Yeah, I spent all my movement <laughs> on getting a marker. No, I yeah, no, no, no. Everybody watching <laughs> saw what you were doing. <laughs> hey. Subtle, you are not. I, I'm pretty sure the Americans are sitting there going, "Yeah, we see you." Do, do, do. I see house. Run, run, run. I see house. I see our safe haven. Ooh. Are you exploring in the weeds? He's exploring. Mm, he's still far. He's still pretty far away. All right. Now we now you got to pick up one of them. And remember, they all have to be within twelve inches of each other. So. What? Uh, just while we're here, what mm -hmm. uh, terrain types are we looking at here? Sure. And um, chain of command actually keeps it pretty simple and relatively yep. abstract believe they have a table but if not i have i actually have that page marked sneaky 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 sneak you better not you better not what do you get i see you i see you trying to get in my zone zone he says there it is you've got broken heavy then you've got this crazy heavy minor and major obstacles um, okay so what do we have we have broken we have bocage which except in this segment that is cut out here yeah that counts as a major obstacle okay and then of course uh we've got the house which is blocking and the trees, the trees, which are, which count as broken terrain. But these are those trees that you can see a distance into and out of. They just provide cover. Yep. All right, so who's up? I was looking at the uh, terrain rules. Vance, it's your turn to move a marker. So when we come into contact, uh -huh. would, be de would you... You will be deploying at the last marker? No. What you're going to do is you're going to take the two <clears throat> nearest markers and yep. use those to form an angle. So let's say we were talking about okay. this guy. Right. Let's say we were talking about this guy. I would take this guy. Or is it enemy markers? It's enemy markers. So I would go from this guy. And this guy. And you form an angle behind you. That's not who I was thinking about. No, I'm saying if it's this, if these are too far away. But let's say we were talking yeah. about this guy. Okay, yeah, okay. You would form an angle through him and through him. And you've got to find a spot behind that point that is under cover and at least six inches away. Okay. To set your jump off point. I, I think I get that. Okay. So I think it's uh, your so it's turn. It's mine. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Your house. I can't see. <laughs> I'm a little blind. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, he's rushing. Oh, oh you, you doing that, huh? Right. You doing it uh, or no? I see him, right? Almost. He is. No, it's to the city. It's in range. Know this. You locking this down, Vance? 
Uh, yeah, if that's in range. Yep. All right. You suck. How about this one? No. No, that one's out. Just barely, but it's out. So those two are locked. So now I don't have to be in range with him, right? What do you mean? So if I, I can move this guy wherever I want to? Correct. Okay. It, you have to be within 12 inches of one other marker. Right, right, but this guy doesn't matter anymore, right? I don't have to be within 12 of him? I don't know. Is that 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 has never come up before. I think it has. <laughs> so yeah, that's the question. Are we, what do we always have to move from twelve from the first, the last marker you placed? Then I'm kind of stuck. No, it's not from the last. I know it's not from the last one you place. That one I do okay. know. Uh, oh yeah, you're stuck. It's got to be twelve inches away from. Yeah, you've locked down his back end. You can't get anybody more than twelve inches away from him. It's a it, there's a there's a picture that shows it. Even after he's locked. Correct. All right. And the way Richard Clark describes this, this is that moment when your forward elements have said, "Hey guys, there are some Germans there." Yep. Well, I don't think I can move anymore. Well, you can. You could swivel this guy this way or this way. Just bear in mind, when you get within 12 inches, which ain't... <laughs> All right. That's going to lock this guy. Who's all, well, he's already locked. So you're locked. Not quite. Vance? Hey? It's you. So that's more than 12 inches away from Correct. Him. He's he's still loose. Your back three can still go. More guys in the weeds. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. That's going to lock yeah. them. Okay. You're all set? Yep. Bands? So that's, is that all of Vance's guys? No, he's still free. He's locked anyway. Ugh. My plan is worthless. I can't move. So all of his guys, this guy isn't locked, is he? Thank you. Yep, he's locked. I guess. Yep. Well, it's center to center. Yeah, so he's not. He's yeah, more than 12 inches away. Oh, yeah. Just barely, yeah. So I can move this guy, right? Well, none of these guys are. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, then there, let's, let's free him up. Keep it coming, then. This guy. Mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa. That's way more than 12. No, no. Oh, I... He, no, but he cannot move more than 12 inches. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, that's, that's perfect. Okay, now I'm confused. He wanted to move this guy all the way here. But that's what I thought we were doing. Because this guy came from all the way back here and moved 12 inches oh, from let me, here. Let me, I may have screwed that up. No, yeah, it's just 12 inches of move. So we need to do the patrol thing again. All right, start it over. All right. I believe 
I started. You do. Galifar, Vant. Right, okay. I think I understand this now. And after worm, you can fracture and then expand, and you can fracture and then expand to another person. Well, the key piece too is you're you know, you don't have to go in one direction, you can push this way too, you can go laterally. Sure. You know, he could go here, here, that makes here. It yep. Stay in range. All right, Velker. Of no one. I the house again. <laughs> right. So now I want to. So this chip can go twelve inches from any of these chips. No, this chip Is moves correct? twelve. This chip moves twelve inches. Now that it's on the board, it moves twelve inches. So I uh, okay. I'm... So when you bring it out. It can be where any of the other scout teams are. However, once it's on the board and you want to move it, it can only move up to 12. Right. Right. So I have this chip here that has not been placed Correct. on the board. Correct. He, he can be wherever you want to put him within 12 inches of one of these three. Of any of those three. Correct. If he's not out, he's free. Burr. Free. Oops. You stacked him. <laughs> I know. No, my house! He is looking to look at your house. He wants to see your house. No, I wish to purchase that house, sir. Okay. So now what? Now that all four of them are on the board, mm -hmm. what happens? They move 12 inches each and must stay within 12 inches of at least one of their fellows. Right. Correct. That's what we did not do correctly before. Correct. Right. It is in this that I was corrected. I saw you move 21 inches further than you can. Silence. Ah. No move. Too far. What? He's too far from. The... Oh, he's. <laughs> yeah, but somebody. You remember, everybody's got to be 12 inches away. He's not. He's. Yes, he is. Who's who's he within 12 inches of? That guy. Uh. Uh. Okay, then Check this it. guy. Nope, it's all. There's too big a gap here. He's got to go mean? back. No, Mike, well, that's okay. Then my guys aren't within 12 inches of each other. These guys are all connected. What do you mean? No, no, no. You're fine, Vance. You go here to here, here to here, and here okay. to there. Yep. You have to have a chain of 12 inches. Felker's is broken. This guy is too far. Oh, uh, I see what you mean. Okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. I got you now. Valker. Oh, it's my turn. Yeah, this isn't Leipzig where you wait for an hour. <laughs> Oh, those 
trolls are coming. Go be gone with thyself. I don't think he's in so inclined. Be gone with you. It is your turn. Ah, people move so fast. Let's do it. What is tabletop simulator? This is going to be a really short fight. <laughs> Good lord. Mm -hmm. I should not have done that. Oops. Whoops. That guy is There's in. There's not a lockdown. That guy is in. I'm going to use that guy. <laughs> Chicken! <laughs> oh, yeah? Is that the case? You lock him down? There we go. He's too far away there. I know. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but that is a lockdown. Fight me! Uh, here we go. Okay. Oops. Hide behind your vocage. Oh, Chicken. Not there, not there yet. Valker. Nope. Oh, Fight me. You think so, do you? I think he does. Fight me. If you're so cocky, then come. Oh, that guy's locked. Oh, is he? Please. These guys are locked. Oh, mercy. Well, are they? Center to center? Oh, not center to center. No. 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 I saw there was a measuring tool that said 12 inches. Now they are. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. Fighty time. Fighty time, yeah. Uh, this house will be mine. Don't mind me. I'm just going to be scooching. Okay, I don't see a lock. Two to maneuver. You guys are going to be fighting in a cupboard. You understand that? Yeah, kind of, eh? Yeah. It's okay, I'm alright. I'm alright with close. That's a lock. Velker? Not a lock. Vance, I think you got one more. I think I got this guy here. Yes, one, one guy. Yeah. The lone soldiers. This is going to be over in about. And there's that. <laughs> oh hey there. Are you sure about that? I was about to say. Are you sure about that? I was about to say. Yes. Walk into my base. Oh, your base. I belong to us. Yes. Walk there. Fight me. Oh, I seem to be stuck. Let go. There we go. Fight me. Yes, hide behind your bokaj, just like your friends. Yeah, that does seem to be the plan. You're in range, too. That's a stick. He was locked. Right, that's it. No, I have this guy. Uh-uh. Once one side locks down, it's over. No! Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Is so... That a sure lock? So, Velker, we start with you because you had the initiative. The two nearest for you. Somebody else would draw the other arc, please. It's more... It's. I'm not seeing what you're doing. It's center. Draw. You're drawing an angle. That's it. Velker must place a jump-off point six inches behind that angle, behind that marker, and inside that arc, and in cover. The obvious choice is either he can put he can put it in the building. You can put it right in there, Velker, if you want. That is the spot from which his men will spring. So he's okay. going to put... And also, he wants to protect that. 
because letting people come too close to your jump off points and heaven forfend letting them capture your jump off points represents them getting behind you and trapping you which you don't want right so we've already used this one so now we do yours which one do you want to do first vance i don't understand the question which one of your four each one of these is calculated for a separate jump off point which one would you like to, which one of your all four would you like to use we do all guys. four it doesn't matter really all of the four guys have the same two guys for the jump so let's i'll show you an example <laughs> we'll take this one on the street on, on the road we draw this arc through them like that you put your jump off point at least six inches back the obvious choices for you are going to be in the, that bocage or in that building How do I open that building? Just point at it and press the one key. Or the two, sorry. Uh, there you go. So they're going to come out of there. Very good. Valkyrie, okay. your next one. Which one do you want to do? Good lord. Who's the nearest? It's 11 4. 12 0. Oh. Then what? Okay, so it's 11 4. And this guy. So it's these two. That sucks. Yep. Nope. No, no, no. It's the guy behind the bocage is next. This guy down here, bud. Oh, okay. You said behind which bocage? Yeah, that, all that, that, it's bocage. all bocage. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> all right. Six inches so back. I'll hold that line for you. Yeah, yeah. six inches back. And it's anywhere back there. Probably in those trees. No. It, well, you could do it there if you want, but why? You've already got a point in there. Yeah, put it in those trees. At least gives you, this gives you tactical options is what it does. All right. So that's back there. Let me lock it. All right, Vance, which one do you want to do next? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure which one I did here. You did the road. This one? Mm -hmm. Okay. You got these three. Well, let's do this one here. All right, that's pretty easy. Six inches back and in cover. I think it's behind those trees. We're in the wheat. Yeah, and then we're in the wheat is light Oops. cover. There you go. All right. Which one do you want to do next, Walker? Um, let's do this guy. All right. Once again, the question of nearest pertains. Looks like it's going to be this guy and this guy. So, Vance, if you want to... Yeah, all your jump-off points are going to be in roughly the same spot. <laughs> it does appear. Yeah. So you you could put them back behind... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Maybe behind that fence. Buddies. I only have three jump-off points. Yeah, we only have three, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. And let's set your last one. Which one do you want to use? This guy here. All right. Nearest is going to be this guy. Oh, now. I hadn't realized that built. I, I don't think it matters. Yeah, my decision's still the same. Yeah. Uh, so you want to draw Vance's other one? There you go. Yeah. See, now Vance gets a more dramatic choice here. So it's, yep. All right. Yep. Now cool. Could get behind the brick wall. He could. He could be over there or behind the trees. Anyway. Let me lock them. And now we get rid of the patrol markers because we have no more use for them. Okay. These are the spots from which you'll be coming. Uh, Velker is going to go first, which is actually fortuitous because it gives me the opportunity to talk a little bit about the way this works. Every turn you're going to roll, f at, at least at game start, five chain of command dice. Those dice become your hand. They become a hand of cards that you get to play. How do you play them? It shows right here. On a one, you activate a team, a fire team. Typically, that is only a section. Like, for example, the scout team that the Americans can create. Uh, it's also a machine gun team. If you've got one of those, for example, your bar team right here. 
Mm -hmm. They can go on a one. A two is a section that allows you to fire all these guys. Mm -hmm. The one thing it doesn't give you is the ability to add in your junior leader into the fire because he's not directing their fire. With a three, he does get to activate their fire. All right. Uh, a senior leader activates on a four. In the case of the Americans, that is, in your case, this lieutenant, and Velker's got the Obergefreiter. You have, though, a supernumerary commander in the form of this guy who can be very effective in getting shock, remember shock, off of your guys. Right. Five and six are unique. Five allows you to add to your chain of command dice. When that chain of command die is full at six, it has magical properties that will allow you to significantly change the course of the game. We'll talk about it as you get closer. Six pertains to the way the game time flows. If you roll one six, that's wasted. But if you roll two sixes, you get the next turn as well as the current one. Okay. So you're essentially going to go twice. If you get three, which hasn't happened in one of our games, it gets really <laughs> nuts, and we'll talk about it at that point. But right now, the other thing I should note is that with ones and twos and threes, you can combine them into, you can add them up together. So, for example, if you get three ones, you can turn that into a three. If you get a two right. and a one, you can make that a three. The only numbers you can't make are a five and a six. All right. So, Velker, you want to give me five command dice, chain of command dice. Chain of command dice? Chain. Yeah. What? <laughs> All right. So, he's got a five, which means he gets to put his chain of command die in play with one. So, that's to the side. He can activate a team. Or I should say a squad without its leader, I should say. Two junior leaders and a senior leader. So that's a pretty good hand of, hand of cards. He's going to deploy from his jump-off points. How far? Well, that's determined right here on the chart. Usually it's six inches. I will start within the house. Okay, you're going to deploy... Who are you going to deploy into the house? Hans Gruber. All right, now Hans Gruber is... He's got a squad, is that right? All right. So you can bring him in there. How does that work? You can put two guys on each window and door or one machine gun. Windows are played as they look. They have a 90-degree arc of fire out the front. So, Velker, you want to throw them in there? Show me how you're doing it. One call, that's all. <laughs> that's a local law firm reference, people, for those who aren't from Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's using, that's using a, a two die? That's using you know? a three. He is activating, three. He is on activating Gruber. Right. Where's Panzer Faust, man? Well, good. Yeah, you're gonna fire a Panzer Faust in a room. That would go great. Yeah, not not suggested. Not the greatest idea mankind has ever had. Except I'm smart, so I'm sure it'll go well. <laughs> you're my favorite. Thanks, Dad. I should hope so. Uh, I point my guns at the door. Haha. -ha. In fact, you never expected that. And boom, they're hidden. Let me see. Stop it. I'll just... <laughs> take a look at what you did there. Okay, so as you can see, two, two, two. Yeah, two. 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 One machine gun out the window. They're all, they're all peeking out. All right, so that's your one of your threes. What else are you going to do? My other three shall be spent putting on Ludwig, uh, Ludwig Schneider. Ludwig Lover Schneider. Where's he going? He's going over and it's within six inches of one of your jump offs. Correct. Right? Now, you'll remember in sharp practice, there were alternatives in terms of 
you know, you could go farther if you were light troops and some things like that. But generally yep. here it's six inches. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's fine, Valk. All right. That's fine. That's fine. It's not fine. Now, the other thing I would say, because Velker has put these guys on with their leader, if indeed there was something to shoot at, they could shoot. Right. But you're all hidden behind your vocab. Yeah, right now, all they know is that there are some Americans coming this way. All right. So where'd you put your uh, fellas? You're going to come from there? Oh, okay. Hey, Tuna. And how close does your group have to be to each other? Four inches. Great question. Okay. Hey, John Longshore. My goodness. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get. To, we're gonna ring the twenty bell on a Monday afternoon. <laughs> the uh, yeah, it's uh, it's got to be four inches. The other thing I would note, and that's a great point. You see what Volker is doing here. You can't shoot past guys. Yes. you got to have a good chunk of distance in order to do it. So he's trying to maximize his field of fire. Well, well you can't I... shoot past your own guys? Correct. But my, my loader doesn't shoot, so he's fine. Yeah, his loader right there, you don't shoot. Four inches also matters from a unit cohesion perspective because yep. a, a leader... Can one of the big things in this game, just like it is in sharp practice, is spreading out shock and making sure shock doesn't take down a unit. If you keep your units within four inches of each other, they share the shock. Okay. You know, they share out the shock and they can keep guys firing for longer. So those guys are, are hanging out. So that's another three having been brought on by Ludwig. Who's next? I will spend a two. So if I spend a two, I can't bring on the leader himself, right? No, the leader comes with. He just can't do anything. He just can't shoot. Got it. All right. I will spend my other one. Take note. Uh, uh, what's his name? Oscar Zimmer. Okay, so you're bringing all your guys out. You're showing your hand, as it were. <laughs> hey, hey, Vance, he likes that hand mm-hmm. out of ability. He really does. I'll bet he does. Just be wary. Just just be wary. If he can hand granata, he will hand granata. <laughs> so, okay, so how did he do this? He used a three? For these dudes. Another yeah. three for these dudes. He used yeah. a two to bring out the squad. The leader comes with these guys, but that leader isn't the activator. It's just the squad, Correct. and he's tagging along. Okay. And I'll spend my four. Are you going to bring him on? Oh, yeah, that's right. Doesn't he get bonuses if he stays? He doesn't get bonuses, but it's a huge risk to put your senior leader on the field. Right. Because if he gets hit, that's a that's a bad thing, and that's a big punch to your uh, morale. Right. And when he comes in, though, he doesn't he, like, rally? He can, because every unit... Well, thank you, Velker, for that segue. Every commander has a certain number of abilities. For example, a senior leader has three. A junior leader has two. What can they do? They can activate a team or section to fire. They can put a team on overwatch. I think we all know what overwatch is. And they can activate a unit to do covering fire, which if you want to do covering fire, we'll read through that. Um, they can also send a unit, you know, they can, it doesn't cost an activation, but they can rally shock. They can rally shock from a team he's attached to. And they can they can send somebody and who is not in tactical or in Overwatch to throw a grenade. And they can move once per phase if not attached to the unit. And they can transfer teams. So they have a lot of abilities that uh, you want to be careful with. And they only have so many activations. In addition to the fact they can yell at these distances. You know, a junior leader can yell six inches. A a senior leader can yell nine to try to rally some guys. So, it's a, it's a, well, that's it. That would be it. That's my turn, then. All right. Vance, five dice from you, please. All right. Two. 
Two sixes. All right, next turn is yours. No. You go twice. You have a one. Two sixes. Yeah, sorry. Yep, yep. You're, you got the next turn. Senior leader, team, or I should say section, and team. Okay, so for the section, mm -hmm. I'm going to bring these guys on. Very small house. It's a small one. I have a mansion compared to you. <laughs> now we're gonna make it a housing house insult game. Yeah. Really? That's what we're gonna do? I have a mansion compared yeah. to your dirt hut. Hey, Daniel. I'm not hiding. I'm not hiding in no house. Hey. We're playing. Uh, we're playing the probe scenario, Has. For those who do, for those who don't know, uh, Chain of Command has six six six. I think. Basic scenarios in the back to introduce to the game, and this is the this is the very first one. This is the basics, folks. There's vehicles and choppers. And, uh, make his yeah, if you can't use the guard heavy cavalry, you will hand grenade people to death. This is from OJ. I also don't have a tank, which is slightly disappointing, but it will have to do. It's it it's the next layer down, John, from fog of from uh, flames of war. Um. The, the Lardies do have a game, I Ain't Been Shot, Mum, that is at that higher level. This is more comparable to bolt action. So where are you putting these fellers? There you go. We're lining up right against the Bokash. Oh, good man. That's an easy six inches away. Say no as those Germans are. They have seen them. Yeah, this my BAR team is farthest out. Roger that. Now, does your leader need a fire or your? He does. He does. This game thinks in terms of... One of the things that I had to get through my thick head, this game thinks in terms of individual soldiers. Okay. So it's like if, if four guys have a shot, those four guys shoot. Now bear in mind, though, I think he is armed with an SMG. The machine gun, so it's short range in. Exactly. Now that's very powerful in close combat, but as you yep. know, close combat is... And and I I've been shocked with close combat in, in chain of command. It's gross. It's it's very very bad. <laughs> okay, so that's that section. That's your three. So that's the that's the three. Yeah. The one is a fire team. Yeah. So I you don't really, think I'll use that. Yeah, and then you've got your senior leader, which would bring on pure with, uh, with all four guys. If you were so inclined. Bearing in mind, you do get to roll the dice again. Yeah. So I think I am going to use that. I'm going to bring on All right. the leader and his dudes. And we're going to set up a command post. <laughs> Very good. Setting up a command tent. It's a command tent. Where is that guy? CD. CT. Save me. Here's another thing you don't want to do is fire a bazooka from inside a room. Oh, I'm sure it's a great idea. What are you talking yeah, about? Fireball Forward is a great game. I'm also, just because I love the guy himself, I would always point out Crossfire to people. Now this sergeant, my secondary senior yes. leader, mm -hmm. He acts like a senior leader in every way, right? Exactly. Now, okay. if the senior leader is with the unit, he becomes supernumerary. Yep. He's an extra. But should the senior leader go down, or should you have just so happen to have an extra four to roll, should you roll two fours, he can get involved. Mr. The, Paducah. The biggest thing he's going to do is take off shock, to be honest, which makes sense. Right. You know, he's going to be going up and down the line, come on, boys, buck up. Do it for Grandma back in Wichita. Godfather. <laughs> yeah. 
have my son quoting Generation Kill. I like his name, though. Who that? Where's Paducah? I saw Paducah, and I liked that name. I don't know where he went. All right, but that's those guys. I think and, it's just, yeah, it's just... and I'm not going to do a team song. All right, yeah, Sergeant J.C. Buck Paducah. I like that name. Yeah, he's from my secret source. All right, five more dice. You get Earlier you said you were going to ask people if they could figure out where those names are That's, from. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I didn't tell them where it's from. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Where's it from? Secret source? Yeah, secret source. That's not it. Oh, it's not? Oh. No, it's a secret. Oh. All right, so you've got, you've got oh. a chain of command. I thought the name of it was secret source. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Chain of command and, and a lot three of you can do fancy sections. adding. Now you can do that fancy adding we talked about. Right. I want to get my other section on. So that would take a two and a one. Oh. Hiding in the bushes, I see. Hiding in the weeds. Now everybody. How do I move to the screen without letting go of everybody? Uh, w. Yeah, there we go. Everybody's got to be within that six inches. So. Oh, you're putting yep. them, oh, you got that one up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have this one up here, right? Yep, sure do. No, they're not going there. They just, I just set them down. Yep, yep, yep. I make a circle of where you can place. Like a radar scanner. Except it's not very accurate because my hands aren't that accurate. Oh, has that sucks. I'm dreading the day. See, I'm at I'm at Windows 10, but I know someday I'll have to. Oh. What? Yeah, I'm gonna upload. Just the idea that I'd have to reformat my mods folder. Oh no. I would I would wind up <laughs> I'd wind up putting it on a hard drive. There's no way I've got. I think I've got something like 250 saved games. Too many. Just how many he has. <laughs> Don't Oops. Try. What did What did you fall over? Oh, believe me, there is much judging going on. You always told me to judge people. Ah, uh, now I am. Except it's working against you! <laughs> I didn't know a BAR required an assistant. Yeah, duh, it's just another person to die. Yeah, it's, I don't, I, I, I was intrigued by that as well. You know what I'm saying, right? Man, you guys are in the weeds. All right. All right so, so, that's, so that was a two and a... Two and a one. Two, two and a one. I have two twos. Now, what you can do with that, and this is this is a good place to show this. That's a senior leader, if you wanted it to be, Okay. Yeah. You can also a senior leader has three initiatives and a nine range. He can yell out the window of this house. Yep. And tell these guys get a move on if that's what you wanted to do. Um, obviously though, you could also take it as two twos and bring on this last section without their leader, but that would just leave you with another two, which you could use to activate this squad if you wanted to. I'm just saying that if you brought in this guy you'd be waking up these fellas under command. I don't know why you want Okay, to. so how far is a movement? Yeah. Aha! What a brilliant question. Another thing to show. Click. We must go over to infantry. Oh, da, 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 da. Where's my terrain chart? Vehicles, no. Vehicles, too. Support. I don't know why they put it here in the... Or did they, put it, they put it in the front where I desperately needed it. Um, what you're going to be doing, you're going to be rolling a certain number of D6s. Typically, okay. it's 2D6, and that's how far you move. However, if you want to move 3D6, you can. Ah, there it is. Right up here. A normal move is 2D6, and you may not fire. A regular move is 1D6, and you fire at half effect. You may move at the double, but if you do that, each team takes a point of shock. Okay. Is there somewhere in here that is the range of our weapons? Got the armory. It's it's very very long, is what it is. Um, but I don't. Yeah, here, master arsenal table. Okay. 
everybody pretty much except your MMGs is at close range at 18 and effective at 18 plus. Okay. So I want to do the, add those two twos mm -hmm. to use my senior commander to put this group on Overwatch. Is that how that works? It is. That's exactly how that works. So what they're going to be doing is they're going to be peeking through the trees kind of this way to see if anybody sticks yep. their head up. Yep. Right. Poking through the bocage. Got it. And so that's that. All right. So you have had done. All right, Velker. Just have one group that's not on. Yep. Velker. Uh, holy cow. Well, that's actually a pretty optimal roll. Good roll, yeah. yeah the six, the, the six is useless. But uh, three, you know, that's three sections with their leader and one team. So. Can I make this a six? You cannot. You cannot. I know. In fact, what I cannot. want to. I get it. So you're saying if we move at the double, no matter what, we take one shock. Correct. Uh, I don't. Now, on the other hand, if you've got a senior leader floating around, he can take that point of shock right off yeah, with but his activation. But you don't have that. I get that. I don't have a bonus senior leader like somebody at this table. Okay. Hey, you got to play the good guys. <laughs> but I have hand granaten. <laughs> have hand granaten. How much is that doing you right now? <laughs> <laughs> Jack and squat. Gosh. Jack and squat, and Jack is busy. You'll, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see. You'll see. These guys are going to move. All right. She just moved them the one and wanted to leave them the ability to fire. Can I move? Two d six as usual, but then you can't fire. Okay. So then, so two. So roll one more. Yeah. Two and then. Eight. I can't believe that counted as a six, there you go. but I'll take it. So eight. Yeah, they don't need to fire right now. And can they go on any slant or anything? Yeah, and they go straight ahead. They move ahead, but they can turn. All right, that's them. And these guys are going to do the same thing. All right. Ooh, they are not eager. You know, guys, it's nap time. <laughs> We're not going anywhere. Uh, they don't make it past the marker. <laughs> I, I see that. I see that. And I think I'm done. Yeah, well, you had one more, but you're not going to use it? No. All right. These guys in the house aren't doing anything yet. Time for the Amis to go. Yes. So what would I need to do to get across this Bokash? That counts. As dense? Do, 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 do. Yes. What you do is one phase to cross. What is one phase? That means you just give up your move. You, you have to oh, be so activated they just... and they crawl through it. Now, that doesn't count for the gap sections. Where yep. it's just a minor obstacle. But if you're trying to crawl through Bocage, you say, I activate them, and then they just pop over to the other side. And that's all they do. Right. Okay. All right. So my five base. Two fives? Ooh, that's two on the old chain of command dice. Wow. That's nice. Same and leader. a four... Senior leader, section, and team. Right. Senior leader. My senior leader can yell. How many inches? Nine. Nine inches. Which is quite far. Oh, yes. Yeah. So if I use this four, mm -hmm. 
to tell these guys to pass through the bocage. Yes. Right, this Overwatch comes off. Mm -hmm. How long does an Overwatch last until you until you take it, until you do something? Yeah. Okay. So these guys go here. Then I use this one and a three and add up another four. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, but he can't do more than one thing unless you want the sergeant to do something. But I can use my sergeant, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's here. Mm -hmm. Now he, yeah. yeah. To recommand those guys, or can, no, are they done? They've already done. They're they're done. They have done a thing. They've done a thing. Mm -hmm. Well, then I don't want to do that. I want to bring. I'm going to use a three. Okay. To bring on my last group of dudes. Group of dudes. The ritual of passing the bocage is honored. <laughs> this house is still not yours. Haha. -ha. <laughs> You'll see. When I'm in the house and I call Han Granaten, you are not going to be ready. All right, that's it. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, the uh, the tactical World War II space is jam packed. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 very very busy. Some high end, some low end. I would say the the A games are are this and Bolt Action. Those are your rivals. But boy, are there a lot of others. Some of them quite good. Some suck. Some straight up suck. But um, yeah. Velker, five dice. Yes, sir. Got a chance to win. That's that's a nice hand for making stuff with. Yeah. I'm going to make one three. All right. So these two will fuse. Mm-hmm. Oh. And the sub got two threes mm -hmm. and a two. Two threes and a two, correct. These guys, they're going to move. Mm -hmm. So, what happens if I go into these trees? Well, we ascertain that that is rough terrain. And we go over here, and it tells us, do, 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 just because I like being melodramatic about such things. Yep. It's broken. You only may not move at the double. Oh, cool. Okay. In that case, I will just move for 2d6. Mm hmm six which is it may i thought about that a lot but it makes sense i mean shoot you can move through a forest that isn't dense forest pretty easily actually yep, mm -hmm. yep. you know it's yeah it provides cover but it's not hard to walk through you're not napoleonic yeah. troops those guys will do, also do that all right Two D six. nice Ooh. Those, 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 they suddenly decided wow. that they, they have motivated well done gentlemen all right, so you had two, and then you had a section. Where? Oh, wait, do you still? Wait, what? Okay, so there, there's two squads over there. Where's the other? Over here. They're in the weeds. Oh, they're so well hidden. <laughs> he likes it that way. Shush! <laughs> well, I'm complimenting you, sir. That's true. That was a compliment. I would not have found them. Right. I would never have found them. Wow, okay. I'm done. All right, Vance, you're up. Okay. Yet another six. Dead six. Put some other good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to use this three. To get these guys... I get to move. I roll two dice. Correct. Well, well where are they going to move? These guys? 
Yeah, I'm moving towards this book. You, you just want to stick them up against it rather than I, crossing yeah, it. I want to move up. I want to move diagonally up, but okay. right against it. But the only question I was asking is if you're going to cross it. No, uh, I'm not trying to cross. 2d6. Should be enough. Yeah, I would. I, I just honestly, I would never play bolt action again. I just wouldn't. I know people love it. I know people love it, but it's 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 clearly built as a tournament game, and it that reeks out of every pore. If you like it, God bless you, play it. But that's new. And I had, so that was a three. Mm -hmm. I have a, a one, a two, and a two left. So I'm going to build another three. Already. And these guys mm -hmm. are just going to shuffle this way along the bocage. Yeah, 2d6. You got all the distance in the world. One of the rules that both Sharp Practice and Chain of Command have is that you're supposed to move to your maximum distance unless you say do a thing, just like you just did. You right. Know, go to the edge of the bocage. All right, well, you got enough. You don't have to keep going out into this open space just because. Right, okay. Yeah, you followed the instruction. And sharp practice has the same thing. And that leaves me with a single two. It does. Which is a section activation. Oh, which means a section can move. Yep. Those or do are... something. They just don't get their leader to Correct. help them out. Yep, exactly. All right. These gentlemen, they're going to try to move forward. 2d6. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I bet has. I absolutely do bet. The... Uh... Has is pointing out that when folks come with bolt action, you suddenly see a whole lot of uh, mounted SS and Puma lists. Yeah. It's like, yeah, no. There you go. All right. Valker, you're up. There are there are armies that are approaching you. I think they have murderous intent. Murderous intent? Murderous intent? Is that like dismissed with prejudice? Dismissed with prejudice. What about this extreme prejudice? Mm. That's another Normal chain of command. Uh, so I got one, three, two, fours. Yeah. Ugh, that's not great. Yeah. And a two, I guess. Do you, did you? Yeah, you have not yet put out uh, Kurt. Yet put Kurt Reich out. is not yet on the field. All right, I will use my three on these guys. All right. On these leads, they will move forward. You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> Sir, should we go into this house? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. I'm there could be Americans in this house, you know. Ah. Just a li just a little bit closer. Just a little bit. bit. Alright, you idiots. Yeah. How are you feeling? How are you gonna how are you gonna activate them? Can I use them? them with the two? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're gone, huh? They're in. They're they're in. They're riding pumas. <laughs> yeah, the fact that the fact that spear armed Japanese are part of the story of bolt action tells you all you need to know about bolt action. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I don't want to sound like a hater. I'm not. If that is what gets forty <laughs> k people into historic gamings. Gaming, awesome. Do it. Just don't tell me it's historical. Just don't. Okay. Is that it, Velker? I think so. He rocked it. Do what you gotta do, magic bad. Another wasted six. Wow. But Magic five, though. No, I, There's a five. I put my luck on it, not my bad Ooh. So you're at a four now on your chain of command? Okay. Yeah. And three threes. Yeah, that's that's everybody's what that is. That's, mm -hmm. the, that's the gang's all here. Uh, 
All right, well, let's start with this crowd up here. We're going to advance. All right. As we said, 2v6. It's all right. Just about average. It's fact. 16 people online. Bless you guys. You're the best. I've got to take gotta take noonday breaks more often. <laughs> so that's those guys. Okay, so how much to get on the other side of this thing? What do I want? Do I want to actually do that? I don't think I actually want to do that. Yeah, you definitely don't want to do uh, that. <laughs> All right, so this group here uh -huh. is going to move as fast as they possibly can. Well, you have the option to have them run. That would be three D6, but they catch a point of shock to each team, which means both the bar gunner and the rifleman catch a point of shock. Well, I don't want to go that fast. Okay. So where do you want them to go? Oh, they're going to come out around here and go this way. All right. Just because what I'm really saying is this is where that thing I said about how it's really an individual figure game is going to come into play. Yep. You're, you're going to move them by onesies. Yep. Yeah. They're just, they're, a, they're, and I'm going, like I said, I want to move them as far as I can die yep. roll and get I dig them it. towards here. I dig it. That's all right. They're modestly motivated. Incredibly motivated. Wow. I'd call that modest. I wish they could go. Wow, that's crazy. I wish my guys could go seven. Yeah, that's true. Had your guys gone seven, you'd be in better shape. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Should I risk it and only go one die and see if I can fire next turn? Yeah, fire at half effect, though. That's true. Oops. Come on. Five and two. No, hey, Grog. Yeah, no, I absolutely agree. I think in general, you should declare what your movement intention is. And, and I think Vance is reasonably clear about that. It's more of an issue when you want to not go your maximum distance. It seems pretty evident to me that Vance's intention was get as far as you can over to that other Bokash. Yeah, a 12 would have been nice. Mm-hmm. These last two guys just catch up. All right. So that's these guys mm -hmm. and these guys. Now, I can't move these guys away. This command group. Do you have a four anywhere in there? No, I had a th another, another three. Yeah, I know. Can't move them. Okay. Uh, then these guys are going to go back on Overwatch. Uh, that is something that has to be commanded to them. Oh, they're the junior. I think he can actually. Yeah, he's got the junior GI Joe. He's got a knit. Junior GI Joe. <laughs> Activate and place a single team on Overwatch. Yeah, so he can. So he can place either... He's got two, so you want to put both of them on there? Both the BAR and the uh, Rifleman? If I can do that, yeah. Yeah, because he's got two. He's got two. Okay. So we'll just make very clone. I don't have the clone. There you go. 
They're yeah, so this is the BR8, BAR team. Yep. This is the squad. Stop okay. looking at my stop, stop looking over the bushes. Stop peeking at my sure. house. Go ahead, step in the house. <laughs> see what see what happens. What bad things will happen if I walk into the house? Well, if you walk into the house, nothing so much. If you walk up to that window and shoot out of it, More bad the bad thing will happen. Wonderful. Uh, okay. Is that it? I think you're it, yeah. That's it. I'm gonna but yeah, it just happens to be 18 inches. If you come up to those doors and windows. Uh, did you do that on purpose? No. And he has nothing but your best in interests at heart. And did you do it on purpose? Yeah, I think he did. Yes, I, yes, yes, I, I, I did. Think, I think the bad man did. No, you. You. Did you place that house <laughs> exactly 18 inches away? I did not. I did not. In fact, you've seen me build terrain. You know I'm not that precise. Belker, your die roll. Very well. Alright, one way for five. Five. And Where are you at now? Right. He's at four as well. You're both at fours. I got a two and a four. Because uh, I want to merge these two. Okay. That makes sense. One of my twos will be used to have these guys go in. Two dice. Alright. Uh, I swear. Three. I got the same roll again. <laughs> now here's and here's the catch and here's the real. Where's the door? Do I have to go in? The door? Oh yes, it's right here. What? Yeah. It's right, here. it's right there. Oh, I thought the door was. Right no, there. it's not the only. The only door is not the one in the front. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. There are two doors. Walk out in front here. of. Walk out in front of the army. There's one there. No, but here's the deal. What you do to enter a house is it's like entering an obstacle. You're going to roll the two dice, and you have to drop the lower. So you've got to get to the door with enough movement to step inside. So I have two inches. Yeah, you. I, I don't to think you, you're not going to get there, are you? Nope. Nope. So you can go the three. You can go the three. Two. No, but he's not. Well, three, he can't okay. get in. So right. He, do, he doesn't have the thing to get. He doesn't have the thing to give up. You've got another. So we could pile up against the house. Yeah, exactly. Those guys are just... <laughs> They're having doo, none doo, of doo. it. Somehow they know I'm boresighted on it. <laughs> yeah, I just hear the clicking of the boresight. Can I not break out the back side of the wall? Ranging the door. I have a <laughs> panzer faust. I'm willing to use it. I, that's that's true. You do, and that's H E that? one. That's H E one time. All right, I think that's everything. All right, so you. Yeah, he could make his own door. That's true, but that would make the building unstable. Because that's that's isn't, true. Isn't that's, MG forty two called the German buzz saw? It's the German buzz saw. So does that mean I can just go <laughs> zzz, zzz, no. rectangle and walk in? This is not a Schwarzenegger movie. Stop it. Um. So, so what else did you have? I thought you had a, you had your senior leader, so you're not bringing him on. No. All right, Vance, it's your role. That's All right. There's two sixes. Geez. So, next turn is yours. That's going to be handy. And now you can activate your senior leader, two your two senior leaders. I have three fours. You don't have a third one. Okay. All right. So my Lieutenant Nichols, uh, Lieutenant Pure, and okay, his that's, team. That's, that's what I was wondering. Tuna. We're getting historical commentary from Tuna. Dig it. Cool. Um, the historical commentary is on your BAR guys. Apparently, by 1944, some units were using one-man BAR teams, but the other riflemen in the squad were detailed to carry additional magazines or bandoliers with the 30 millimeter. Yeah, that makes sense. The 30 ammo. That makes sense. So all that guy's got is this giant bandolier of ammo on him. So... Can he move and do a command to another section you will discover if you take a look here that one of the things he can do 
which is not in activation, interestingly enough, his move. So it doesn't even count against Very him. Very cool. Okay. So where's... He's going to move? Oh. I guess I have to roll first. Yeah, eh? he's got to roll 2d6. He's got to drop the lower because he's leaving the building. Right. And he's heading towards this blockage. Got it. See, that's how you run around. I guess. Five inches. But he comes by... Yeah, he's he comes by himself in that instance. Oh, these guys don't come? Nope. He is moving. If he wants to ah, order okay. them, he can use an activation to do so before he leaves. But then that's one of his activations. He's got a total... How many? I think he's got three. He's a senior, yeah? Yeah, yeah. he's got three total. And, and remember, the move doesn't count against him. So he's got... He's got activations to burn right okay so he'll tell these guys to move okay this is first activation all right so uh he gets we know he's got five inches of move now tell yep. them to move they too have to roll 2d6 and they have four inches they have correct there you go okay oops gonna get out of the door yeah, you, you count as out the door. So you're out the door. Now you get your five inches. Four inches. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that... Uh, oh, I thought that was the leader. Sorry. Oh, these are the dudes. Mm -hmm. Got it. Bazooka dude. All right. Mm -hmm. Then the leader moves his... Five. Five. Oops. Get you outside the door first, and then pick you up. Can I move through, guys? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. So he's used one of his three activations. Correct. To tell these. So use a second act. Yep. He used one of the two of these guys. Uh huh. He used a second activation to get these guys moving again. Yep. Go right ahead. He's got to yell at their leader, or just. Nope. One Just of the guys. Them. Okay. So again, they're still trying to finish this one to the Bogage thing. Yep. Oh, I'm starting to roll like Uh-oh. Retro. You walk into the clear, eh? Shall mm -hmm. me to pew. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about clear, but... Well, if my guys get in the house anytime soon, they'll be easy targets. Oh, come on. My impression of Fireball Forward was that it was higher level. Isn't it isn't it company level? Am I wrong about that? That essentially it was a competitor to Flames of War, I Ain't Been Shot Mom, Crossfire, stuff like that. Yeah, those guys are having none of that high speed movement either. And still has one activation left, but he does. Not I think really he's out of range with those dudes. Yeah. Oh, what's his range? Nine inches. Twelve. Oh, nine inches. And so I use my last four to move uh, Sergeant Buck. Mm -hmm. He's leaving the building and going towards the Bocage. All right. Attempting that anyway. There we go. Up, up. Same as everybody else. Look at that. He didn't. He, did not, he didn't want to disappoint Pure. Yep. He's gonna go this sure he way. Wanted to, but then Pure got up in his face. He gave him the exactly. business. He gave him the business. Threatened him. All right. With the court. That is everybody. All right. And Parker. I get to go again. 
Oh, yes, you do. No, no, I rolled two sixes. Yeah, he did. Uh, yeah, he did. Mm. I'm not even in the house. <laughs> he knows. Oh, he knows. Ooh. Uh, two more fives. I don't know about That's a six. Game, you have a full chain of command die. So what we yep. do is we're going to take this sucker and put it over here. Copy this and put it over to the side because you don't have that yet. Okay. But let's take a look at what you can do. It is time. Number one, you can interrupt with any unpinned section or team to fire or move. You could just stop Velker's turn. Stop, stop. I'm shooting this I, guy. I like it. Number two, you can end the turn. What we're doing here is called phases. There are yep. consequences to turn end that haven't come up yet, but could. One, okay. it, this is this is huge. Move a friendly jump off point up to 18 inches. Ooh. In behind cover, six inches in rear of friendly troops. So you can move your jump off points. Okay. You can declare an ambush with a single enemy team that is off board. You don't have any of those. If you have a sniper, you can relocate them. If at any time you're forced to take a force morale check, a bad thing, you could say, nope, didn't happen. And then finally, you could, if you had, if we had mortar barrages, you could keep them going and turn end. Okay. So you've got that in your pocket now, spending it whenever okay. you like. So I basically have a one and a three. That's accurate. So I'm going to add those together and make a four. Yes, I'm going to make a four with those. And activate my uh, Lieutenant Pure again. All right. And the first thing he's going to do is use one of his activations to move the bazooka team. All right. We're going to go as fast as they can up against the bazooka. Mm -hmm. No, no, faster than that, boys. That's fast, but not very fast. Then he's going to move himself. Mm -hmm. That's free. Towards the center of the bocage. Mm -hmm. Not very fast. He's strolling. It's a leisurely stroll. Four. And then... Oh, yeah. He's going to use another activation to get these guys moving again. All right. To continue them high. Now, how am I going to do this? I don't want my BRA, BA, BAR team to move, but I want the rest of these nods that's, to pile that's, up over that's here. That's what you do. Just okay. tell them to do that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes! Vengeance! Vengeance! <sighs> Man, but Velker, if you could have put one of those machine guns in the window. Oh, and put it on Overwatch? Mm. You, we're talking about Overwatch. He's walking in broad daylight. <laughs> you don't got to Overwatch nothing. Velker over here is right in the middle of it. Moving two inches at a time. Nerd. The one thing I will say for bolt action, in case I get accused, is they do have some terrific support. A lot of toys, a lot of scenarios, stuff like that. It's too far away. And he's too far. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah. Is that yeah. within nine inches? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. I want to put uh, the BAR team on Overwatch again. Oh, no, they're still on Overwatch. Yeah, they're on Overwatch. Never mind. They never left. Yeah, it. never mind. Never mind. All right, that's it. I'm done. Velker. I can do something? You can do a thing. Wow, that's crazy. Theory says. I 
got a double six. All right, yeah. next turn is yours. <laughs> Another chain of command. I'm on five. I have a four and a two. Four and a two. And so the four only works for the senior, right? Correct. Anything else? Nope. I will use my two for the guy <laughs> at the house. Good luck. Thanks, Dad. Seven. That should be enough. Six. Remember, you gotta give up the one to get in the house. But yeah. So how does Overwatch work? He's gotta do something. Okay. When he shoots, you're gonna get to go you, you know, he's gonna shoot in his phase. And you're immediately going to get to fire back before he continues his phase. But I have this interrupt I want to use. Uh, that piece, you can inter you, you've got to let him finish his action. That's the piece. Okay. But once you see those guys at the windows, if you want to inter... You cannot see them yet. They haven't done anything. Oh, okay. You, yeah, you can't see them yet because they haven't done anything. But you can certainly... Yeah, you're going to want to save that for later because you can see what he's doing. Okay. Yep. So I want these two guys mm -hmm. in this window. I just have no space. Mm -hmm. And then these two guys will be in the doorway. All right, so explain to me. So you got nobody in this window is what you're saying. Yes. Nobody's in this window. You've got two riflemen. Yeah. I got these two right there. Oh, okay. And so then you've got Those which which there. window is your machine gun in? That's the only thing I care about. This one. This one. All right. That's that would have been my guess. Okay. And just bear in mind everybody in this room is going to be eligible to get shot at. Um it's just a question of cover and such. And everybody's in four inches of each other. Yes, they are. So the shock spreads. Okay. All right. That was your two. And I'm your... not bringing on my senior yet. Okay. So roll again. Oh, that's right. I get two turns in a row. Yeah. You do. Again. Not that thing. That's another change of command, though. Yep. I think I have a full die. Do you? Oh, yes, you do. Yep. All right. We'll do the same thing for you that we did for Vance. Very good. Two right. chain of command dice floating out there. Two and two threes. You do. These guys are going to move. Oh, man. This is not. Mostly. That's completely average. Now, he's going to get to shoot at you. Why? Because he's on overwatch. That's out of range. Oh, is it out of that's range? That's out of range. Uh, no, yep. that's your effective range. You can shoot over this whole board. Oh. <laughs> These... yeah, you can, that's, that's, that's not effective range, but you can shoot him. Seriously? Oh, oh yeah. Could, how could he see me there? That's, that's a... Well, you've got cover. You're going to get cover. But I didn't want you to suddenly be surprised when he started shooting. Okay, yeah, that's fair. But I... I... Crazy and I'm not sure that this guy over here can't see you. Matter of fact, I'm certain he can. All right. Just pointing that out to you. All right, he's going to be there then. You're, you're, you're going to be willing to let these guys in this gap shoot at you. Well, what do you want me to do? You roll dice, you could back up. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't want to be that Run away. I'm back where I started. I understand that. Run away. <laughs> ah. That's how guns work. <laughs> you know. No, no. You cannot see me. That's their job. That's, that's... Denial of Eric territory. Um, yeah, that's... Can you make that line again so I know where I can be? <laughs> it looks... Where the no-no zone is? This is your no-no zone. You can... It's right at the edge of the building, yeah. Yeah, that's it right there. Yeah, that's the spiritual equivalent of Fritz here sticking his head around a corner and getting his nose, his cigarette shot out of his mouth. All right, so he came around there. You came around there. Uh, that was it for you? Uh, I think so. No, that was this turn. That was just... No, that was his reroll, though. That was that was yeah. his. So I think... But you're done? I want to see what else, what else did I you roll. I think so, yeah. You rolled... You had uh, two threes and two ones. Anything you wanted to do with that? Yeah, those? so you use the two ones for this, no? 
Well, <coughs> he had one three for the, he moved this guy in for one. No, three. that was the previous roll. That oh, was the so, previous turn. Yeah, so that's a three. Or previous phase. So he's got yeah. one more three. Uh, you can shoot, Velker. Oh, I can't. That huh. means he gets to shoot at me. It does. It does. It's going to that shoot. that will start the party. I will try to I will shoot at these guys. All right, how does this work? We check Ew. the we check the distance. He's going to have this guy, this guy, and this guy. So it's a total of Now here's the thing. The MG, that's the one part of it that is super nasty. And it's the same by the way for the BAR. But let's go to the uh it's going to be a so number He's got of, four He's got four rifles and a machine gun. Right. Each one of those rifles is a 1d6. That machine gun is 8d6. Yeah. For uh, Forgive me. It's a tripod mount. That's a 10d6. It's got an effective range. It's got a close range of 24 inches, whereas the, the rifles have an 18. So right now he's conceptually rolling 14 dice, but how close are those guys undercover here? It's the guy I was looking for. Yeah, that's all close range. Roll within 18. Yeah, yep. that's all close range. So he's going to be rolling 14 dice. This is um, close range, so he needs four fives and sixes for hits. The cover comes in when you try to roll to block them, Vance. How many dice? Okay. Four, 14 dice for four, five, six. Now, see, wait, wait, wait. Before you do that. Mm -hmm. Now, isn't this where I interrupt his thing? You, sh you still can't see him. All right. Yeah, you still can't see him. You're going to see him in a second. <laughs> yeah, and I wanted to shoot him before I shoot to pieces. Yeah. But like I say, you, right. got, you got the cover. So that's going to matter. Real. Go ahead. That wasn't the best. I see five. Four, five, and sixes. Yep, five hits. Five hits. Now, you're in cover. There are actually two mm -hmm. groups here, as you can tell. Yep. Uh, how many did you roll, Velker? Five? Five. You've got to put it two and two, but there's a spare hit. There's that fifth one. You, because you're in cover, Vance, you get to pick where it is. I'm assuming you're going to want to put it on your rifles. I am. Okay. So with that in mind, uh, you're going to roll dice, and we're going to say that this is cover. Light so, and we go to this chart, which I think they put right on the front. Yes, um, effects of hits are right here. You're under light cover, so a four and a five is a shock, a six is a kill. So, you're gonna roll three dice for these guys here. Ah, okay. Four or five shock, six is a kill. I wish I had rolled. Shock yeah, and a kill. Shock and a kill. All right. And next we, uh, for, well, shoot, why don't, do we have the damage? I didn't see the shock markers, Velker. Are they around? I didn't see them either, no. Well, what the heck? That's just poor planning. Give me one second. Make that smaller. So is that a possible hit on my leader? It is. But we'll get there in a second. Leader pew pew. Okay. And that was one that was one shock and one One kill. shock and oh, one kill. kill. Alright, there's the shock. Now over here on the BAR team. Did you take off a kill? I not yet, because we don't know if it's your leader. Okay. Okay. And, uh, and there was two, two dice on two the two on the BAR. Oh, come on. It's a kill. Nice. Now, you roll 1d6. If you roll a 2 or a 1, the leader is hit because you have taken two casualties. One. No. You're fine. So now you get to pick who comes off, but you got to take one guy off the BAR. Probably want to take the rifleman, I imagine. No, the BAR doesn't I... straight up die. No, the BAR does not I... straight up die. You okay. got a BAR rifleman yeah. and the BAR assistant. Um, what is the BR, what's the bar assistant doing? He's, he's just carrying ammo? Yeah, he's an ammo bearer. 
he, okay. he also stabilizes he also stabilizes the uh, oh that's true you'd probably want him to he doesn't do anything I'd rather either. have an actual shot yeah. yeah that's a good point although the BAR doesn't change either way it doesn't change its right. effectiveness and now we'll just you got to pull one guy off of here all right now I got a fancy <laughs> hunch you want to shoot back um, you betcha <laughs> also close range now your BAR is a I think that's an eight. Come on, there we are. B A R. And now, any re any ones you roll, you get to re-roll. Oh right. Okay, just just to remember. Oh, it's only three dice. It's only three dice. Okay. It's three dice. Everybody, however, shoots. I'm pretty sure everybody can see that. Can't imagine they can't. Everybody at 18 inches, oh, though? These guys are a little bit longer. All right. So we'll roll we'll, we'll roll them in groups. Who's closest? Where, where's, where's, so it's, where's the these, cutoff? These last there? two guys are out of range. Okay. All right. They're, so they're, at, they're, they're not out of range. They're just at longer range? Yeah. Yep. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guys. Nine dice for four, five, six. How did you count that? Three for the BAR? Three for the BAR. Yep. Yeah. So it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Oh, ten. Ten, ten. It's ten. Uh, yeah, but the leader's leader's got an MG. It doesn't shoot that. Far. Oh, he's got the SMG. That's right. So that's back to nine. Yep. He's got a wall. Uh -huh. And no, these two guys are these two guys are longer range. Yeah. So we'll we'll roll them separately. Okay. So nine one, dice for, two. Oh. Three, four, five, six, nine dice. Mm -hmm. Nine for four, five, six. If you get more than me, I'm going. What? Nice. Two, three, four, five, six. Six. You got, six. You got ah. six. And now two for five or six. What about this little bit? His machine gun doesn't reach that far at all. Twelve inches. That's another one. Seven hits. All right, Velker, in here, you've got your SMG, which I'm assuming you want to get the... Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Ahead, oh, no. Oops. Sorry, I was, look... I was looking back to see how many ones I rolled. I rolled one one. Oh, you got another roll. Go ahead. Well, who rolled that one? Was it the first group? In the first group. Go ahead. Four, five, six. No. So you've got four hits to give to the rifleman, I assume, Valker, yep. and three hits to give to the uh, the, the machine gun, the MG forty two team. Yeah. All right. So start with the rifleman. So four. It's the same as as a light cover. Yeah, that's one shock. Not a chain of command guy. Oh, <laughs> uh -huh. boom. But now the scary part, the MG team. Yep. One kill. There we go. Oh, that's nasty. You're going to have to take somebody out of there. I'm assuming you want the, uh, the loader. Yep. Where is he? Right here. Oh, you threw him out already. <laughs> you threw the body out the door. Be gone with you. And, so that was a, and did they take a shock too? No, not yet. Not okay. So just the one kill. No, they need to take a shot. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They oh, they, no, no, oh, I asked, did they take, did they... Yeah, I, thought you, I thought you meant that, did you need to add one? Oh, got it. Make it tiny. All right, one and one. Make it small. All right, so that was their Overwatch fire. Which means... More effective than my first fire. They are not Overwatchy. That was more effective than my own flyer. It mm -hmm. was, but it is still your turn. Did you have anything left? I have no idea. I don't remember. It's two, four, five, six, six. Wait, was that four? No. Okay, so I have... I'm guessing my roll was the one, one, three, three, five. Correct. Okay. That's correct. I think I used one of my threes for that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use another one of my threes on these guys. They're going to move. 
Oh, you, no, you move those. No, remember, you move these guys? Because you move them back. Move these guys back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Alright, then I'm done. Alright. Nothing from these All right. folks here. No, they're still waiting move. for those guys to come out of the weeds. Yeah, I don't think they can see them. Never mind. Oops. It's only right, want to roll one command die, huh? Awesome. It doesn't even do anything. My turn. Where's that wasted six? But starting up on his boot camp command die. Okay. Two fours and a one. Two fours and a one. Well, I'll tell you one thing you're going to want to do, since I think you got him. No, I don't think he's close enough. Yep. No, he's not. No, but I can move him. That's true. With one yeah, of my yeah, yeah, yeah. You can take that free move. That's what you're going to want to do. Because then you move him close enough, he can get that shock off of them. And order yeah, them to fire. Yeah, so he can't order them to fire? He can. He can't he gets he three. Can. He can take the shock off yes. and order them to fire. Right. So I am going to activate the uh pure. Mm -hmm. Uh and move him as close to the edge as I can get. Well, yeah, okay, got it. Hey, David. Uh, now we get to remove a shock, you said? Was that activation? Attempt to? Yeah, every, that's true, Grog. But the, the problem is, everybody in that building is within four inches. Hey, Reg. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> David Pumphouse, hop the wall, frolic among the wheat fields, and lob a grenade in the window. <laughs> so, uh, what was that? I'm sorry, you had a question. Sorry. No, he moved up to the hedge. Yep. So his first activation, he wants to remove this. Yep. Stun. Stun. Whatever it is. Shock. Yeah. Shock. For his second activation, he wants to order these guys to shoot. That's good. That'll work. He is in range of those fellows. So it was, it's uh, nine dice for four, five, six, and two dice for five, six, I guess, or whatever. Uh, that's longer correct, ranges. but you're going to have to reroll the bar separately because that you get to reroll those ones. I forgot. We shouldn't have, we, we shouldn't have blended uh, them it's, in. It's only for the three for the bar. Right, right, right. 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 So roll the three for the bar. Yep. Yeah, I'm shooting these guys in the house, by the way. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> it's two fours. All right, that's two hits. And now you've got... One, two... Three. One, two, three, four, five rifles. Five for four, five, six. Nada. Really? Whoa! And then two for five or six. Um. One. So three hits. Three total hits. So again, Velker, same deal for you. Uh, two on the rifleman, I imagine. Yeah. And one on the machine gun. All right, for the rifleman. Two for the rifleman. Oh! Wow. Shock and a kill. Or the MG-42 gunner. Oh, no! Shock. Oh, boy. I don't know why, but I can't roll for So, I forgot to check. We <laughs> did forget to check. Where is your sergeant? There he is. He's right in the window. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, he's got to... He will have to check twice, because you took two kills in that same area. So, uh, 1d6 from last time. Now one d uh, one d six from this time. All right, so you do have to take out a rifleman. I don't know which one you want to take. One of these guys that's off the. Yeah. Truthfully, he should be here. One of these guys should be here because I know that's what you wanted to do. And, then this guy will be here. and that guy's your casualty. Yep. All right. All right, that's that. And then. 
He still has a, one activation left, or does it take two to command these guys? Just one. Okay. Then I want to command this other squad to shoot as well. Uh oh, we have somebody yelling from the squad. Uh, Vance, you're you're gonna like this one. Yeah. Is that right? See, this is the problem. I love this PDF. It's very fine, but I can't. Is that what that says? Oh, Velker is gonna be so unhappy. Semi-automatic rifle rerolls one. Bolt action. What am yeah. I flying? What am I driving? Semi-autos. Yeah, those are those are carbine. Those are more Grant. <laughs> yeah, they are. So, yeah. <laughs> All those ones get re-rolled. It was just two of them. We're just yeah. He's he he said on. So we can roll them on mass. So that's good to know. Thank you for that. Yep. Thank you, citizen. Two roll. Two more, please. Yep. That's a hit. Another suppress. Velker. Another hit. No, Velker's yep. got to roll to see if it is a hit. Yep. That has to be against the MG, it right? It does. I was thinking that. doesn't matter. This yep. Okay. Still, we did it the right way. I'm pleased. Yep. Okay. So these guys are going to shoot. On command from... Okay. These, these guys can see. These guys can't. Because they're not up against it? Correct. These guys. These can. three guys can. Those guys yeah. could. Yeah. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. These guys. Mm, yeah. These guys are gonna shoot at the door. Yeah, they, they're longer range. Yeah. Yeah. Those guys there. So you got two different shots, but that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. So which one do you want to do first? Okay. Uh, well, this group here, because it's a BAR gunner and two riflemen. Okay. So that's three, four, five. Is that? Did you check range? Yeah, it's within yeah. 18. Five for four, five, six. How is he so shooty? You were shooty too. He's just got two squads. You guys are. So That's what I'm trying to. Fix. That's two pot, three possible. Okay, three, and now we add in these guys. There's three for five or six. Not. Okay, three. Three hits, Velker. Three same possible. Two, yeah, same split, right, I imagine. Yep. Bottom, Who's first? Wow! That's a, well, it's just a shock. It's not great, but it's a shock. That's two shock. Yes, it is. It's so two, stupid. Just, two shock, now for the MG. It was three shock? Oh, yeah. Wow. I can't avoid shock! <laughs> uh! Now... That just let's point out you're lucky because you're spreading the shock around. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, that MG team I think only has two guys on it, mm -hmm. and it would be pinned and fire at half effect. So it's the because they're at three shock. They would be. They would be. Actually, no. They'd be. Uh, they would have more. Yeah, okay. they would have more shock than they have men, and so they would be pinned. If you go to double, you you wind up being broken. Okay, so but this team at his MG team right now only has two guys. Correct, but because he's connected to the rest of the squad, oh, okay. it spreads. That's what you mean by that. Right. Okay. He's real close to getting it the to having a problem with that anyway, because he's almost got it he's gonna have to have his leader start taking some of that off. So now having said all of done all of that, that yeah. was just one four for my Initial roll. Correct. Mm -hmm. I had a second four, which is going to activate this yep. surge. Yep. And he wants to run up against the hedge over here. Oh my goodness! It's Bob. Bob. Hello, Bob. Hello, Bob. Six. The stash is among us, Vance. Oh, cool. Robert, welcome. We're up when you're up for a change. <laughs> you're not wrong. And now can this can the surge use activations to move the 
the bazooka team? He can no. Those guys respond to him. Only to him. Yeah, he's there. This okay. is him. He he can deal with any either of these two squads, but he's a support. Well, actually, no. I think I think he can actually. Now that now that I take that back, yes, he can. He can order them to go. The one thing, uh, this is kind of interesting to me, and I, I actually like this. The one thing that only he can do is tell mm-hmm. them to shoot at something that isn't a tank. Oh, okay. And that's the same thing for Velker's Panzer Shreks. These guys are trained to conserve ammunition. They will yeah. not fire willingly at a building or at infantry. You have to tell them to. Right. But the sergeant is going to tell them to move towards to the Got end it. of the... Yep. Oh, gosh. Oops. Just like that. That's it. I'm finally done my turn. I'll phase. So, um, Velker, you're up. But two senior leaders. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. See, you wish you were American right now. You wish you hadn't have sent all those guys to the Russian front. Alright, I have a trade of command die now. Hooray. Well, you already had one. No. no I well, you I had a full one and no no. no. I just I, added one. Yeah, yeah. Just a one, yep. Oh, that's it. I'm yeah, you were off. Okay. I put you on. I see. You snuck me. Two senior leaders and a team. Alright, senior leaders coming on. Alright, where's he coming? Remember Jeff Malfoy. Six inches that way. Six, yeah, six, six inches from any jump off point you want. Right. How far is it? So how far is six inches? Yep. Can you see me there? The guys that are up against this thing, they sure can. The guys that are sticking their snoots hey. out through Bokash. Hey, look, Lieutenant, stand out in the open. <laughs> With a bazooka, no less. <laughs> There you go. The house is mine. Sure. You can die in it all you want. And just to be clear, Velker, there's no reason you can't shoot at these guys now. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. The, the, now, you're only going to you're only going to take hits on these three front guys and guys that are within 4 inches behind them, which is pretty much everyone. Oh, uh, no. A lot of guys. At least. It's these guys here. But yet, and and yes, they've got cover. That's true. Still, I don't have ammo restrictions. You, that's also correct. <laughs> so you have brought on your senior leader. All right, and you will order these guys to fire. To shoot. All right, who do you got? Oh, we can't. He's too far away. Who is? Oh, these guys in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so you got your MG, which is ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14. You're going to leave that Shrek team in the door? Yeah. Okay. So that's 14, 14 guys. At 20 so, inches. Yeah, five or six. 14 guys for five or six. Ouch. Three. Ooh, three. Man. Nice. That's average. <laughs> yeah, it is. So three die. So three... Who's in range? I think it's just going to... Oh, the BAR is there. So it's going to be yep. two, I imagine, two on the rifle squad and one on the gunner? Yep. All right. And that's cover, so four, five shock, six kills. So two on the rifle? Okay. Five is a shock. And one on the BAR team is nothing. All right, that was your senior leader activating those boys. What else? I think that's all I can do. What else did you roll? A one, a five, and a, a six. couple of fours. No, 
one. Oh, yeah, and you've only got the one. Yeah, that's, see, this is where that having two senior leaders matters, right? Yeah. Um, all right, Vance is up. Bless you. Twice. Now, explain to me what happens at the end of a turn. At the actual end of a turn. It like actually, if I use my command item in turn. It goes through it. Keep. I think it's in the very first page. Right here. The biggest one for our perspective is probably three. Unrallied. Bro yeah, we don't have any broken units. So. But if we did, and we will get there, they're gone. Yep. Also, if you manage to capture a JOP, it goes away. Right. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm going to roll a die. Three, four, four. Lose the six. Man, you've been rolling fours like a crazy man. Three, three, four, four, though, is nice. Mm -hmm. How many times have you not rolled a six? <laughs> uh, okay, so for a three, uh, for a three, one of the threes, I'm going to activate this squad, and they're going to shoot at the building. This whole group. Oh, yeah. So, once again, we ascertain three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Because the machine gun. Yep. Oh, right, right, right. Nine and nine. two. Yep, nine and two. Nine for four, five, six. That's a lot of damage. Could be. How is he doing better than me? I'm fives and five, sixes than I am. I'm five, like four, five, sixes. Five. Like four oh, and there's fives. a one. Yep, there's we'll a one. Reroll the one. Yep, I was about to say. So that's five hits so far? Mm hmm. Potentials? Oh, look at that. Six. 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 And then two more. Uh, snake eyes. Both ones. Back. Roll again. Roll them again. Yeah. It's one. Oh, seven. No. So again, so that's seven potentials. Four and three, I imagine. So who's first, Falker? I'll go with four on the rifles. Two shock. Yep. Or, three shock. Three. three shock. Yeah. The MG this, is, this is going to be bad. One shock. Okay, they're pinned. They can't move, and all fire is halved. They do, however, now move to hard cover. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, because they're they're hiding. Yep. You know they're they they are not in any way interested in the in the mess you're bringing. <laughs> okay, so that was they're, one you're, three. You're, you're entirely pinned, both both sides, because it's all sort of shared out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Why if you I... get to 16, that's when you route. I'm five away from routing. Mm -hmm. But now you're going to be much, much harder to see. He's got you pinned in there, but now you're in hard cover, which means five shocks, six kills. All right. Okay. So that was one of the threes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, with one of the fours, I'm going to activate... Nichols, or let him do some activation, or yep. pure. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to remove that, yep. that um, point of thingy. shock. Chalk. That's one. He's going to order this bazooka team to fire at the house. <laughs> Very good. Uh, what's the effective range of that? I don't know. I couldn't find it. It's it's in the American chart. Let me uh, get it. Okay. Five, 
feel a little guilty, like maybe I gave you the idea. <laughs> no, no, no. That's what they were going to be doing. Hmm. So all the way at the bottom. Bazooka. Uh, what's the range of it? It is... 21? 21, yeah. So you're rolling... Yeah, you're not firing it. I keep forgetting. You're not firing at a tank. If you fire at a tank, it's different because it's shape charge. Yep. yep. Um, you're just firing it for HE. Which isn't any fun either, let it be noted. <laughs> Pretty sure that you're going to be. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, independent teams and firing at a vehicle. They name their target and check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flamethrowers against vehicles. That sounds horrible. <laughs> flame. Fire and flame. Well, no, but the, they, they've, they've got the flame tank in the business, too. I think you're just going to be rolling. That's what I wanted. Yeah. Targeting at buildings. Yeah. Yeesh. That's it. Just need to figure out. Perfect. You're gonna roll a four. You're gonna roll two d six. Okay. Okay. You're gonna roll two d six. Any yep. hits you make on this sucker, any and, and you need four, five, and six. Any hits mm -hmm. you make are doubled, because he's indoors. Are you going to We. No, he's launching. He's firing his bazooka at you. Uh, so two d six. I got a five. So you've hit twice. That's because okay. you're indoors. One each. One each. Very good, Velker. MG. Shot. Figures. It doesn't matter now. I mean, now it's almost irrelevant. Uh, no. <laughs> but what if I get doubled and then all of my Well, no, no, no. I, I'm saying it doesn't matter which way it goes now. Now it's just a question of... Now, they have three ammunition. They can go back to any jump-off point and attempt resupply. Okay. So he's down to uh, two. two. Two shots. Yep. All right. So that was the order. And... I have a three and a four left. Rob, Bob has described you as Velker the Invincible. What? Bob has described you as Velker the Invincible. Uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes untouchable. Other times squishy as froge. Squishy so as a froge. So the, yes, the uh, Lieutenant Pure is going to use another one of his activations to tell this group to shoot at the house. Got it. I believe we determined it so was one, two, three this way. Three. But so that's, it's that's three, the BAR. four, five. Yeah. It's the BAR. So it's four, five four, dice? Yeah, five dice for four, five, six. Three hits and one reroll. Four. 
four. Or possible. And three more for five or six. Six possible. Five. Five possible. Five possible. So once again, Velker, three and two. Can I just roll five dice? Yeah, at this point you might as well. Well, no, I do need to parse it out because nope. we do have to keep it with it. Okay, so who dies? And stuff? Right, yeah, yeah. Rifleman. Rifleman. Oh! Uh, that's one shot. That's three shots. No, he's, he's under heavy cover. Oh, he's, he's in hard cover, right? Yeah, yeah. You are, you... What's he got there? 13? I would be dead yeah, if I it. were not in heavy cover. Yep. You're three away from breaking him. Um, okay. I'm going to use my other three to move this northern uh, yep. squad up against the Bacar. Attack my other house. <laughs> That's a heavy house. It's made of brick. Yes. And it is big. This house is made of... It's a seven? More than enough, I should think. Oops. Yep, there we go. They're all right up against the fence. Red Sax indicates yeah. that the dice gods can no longer find you as your voice deepens. Uh, they cannot recognize me, I understand. <laughs> Is it really that deep, though? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I sound the same in my head, I guess, is what I'm saying. Oh, now, yeah, now it's more like, now, Ian, th hey, Ian, good to see you. Now it's more like Velker the Invisible. <laughs> because you cannot choose to meet. And I have one more four. Yes. You do. Which I'm not going to use. Right. I'm not going to use. I have no use for it. Unless I can put these guys on Overwatch, even though they've fired already. No, you cannot. And that is it. Velker. I can do something? Yes. Wow. <laughs> hey, I sent all those guys to the eastern front. Uh, oh, you got a command thingy? Yeah, yeah. Here, all right, I will add this and this together, so I have a three and two feet. Okay. My three is going to be rallying this guy. Well, he's got, he's got two actions. Both of them will be rallying. And do you want to, how do you want to split it up? Uh, two for the rifleman. Okay, he takes two points of shock off. That's it. Next. All right, my two <laughs> will be these guys shooting those guys. All right. Um, um, Actually, if I put those two together, I can make a four. You could. And then is it just the leader who can shoot and the bazooka? The Panzer Shrek. You you could fire that Panzer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can fire that Panzer Shrek. Yes, you can. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the MG. I'm gonna shoot with those guys. All right. So the MG is 10, 11. How many did we figure? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. 14, 14 dice for uh, four, five, six, or for five or six. Good Lord. Yeah, ouch. Four, five, six. Six. Three and three. I'm still. Uh, I'm. I was above average. Three. Yes, you were. Three and three, as far as cover goes. So, which one do you want to do first, the VAR or the rifleman? And had I got. Uh, rifleman. Go. That's a kill. No shock. Uh, and now let's check the uh, BAR. BAR? Mm -hmm. That's also a kill. Ooh, two kills, 2d6. Anybody important? What? I'm, oh, shoot. I, man, that was brutal. I apologize. You roll 1d6. You roll 1d6, and it's a two or less. I misspoke. I, okay. st I stumble lipped. Like that. Oh! Velker is hit. Oh, no. So, Velker is hit. we got to find out what happened to him. 
Now you've got to take off uh, one guy from the. I killed myself. The rifleman. No. I mean, I hit yeah, but it's gonna be one of these guys up here, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So that guy. All right, so he's actually dead. Now, though, we do have to check. There's actually no shock from this. Let's find out what happened to Velker. <laughs> Command ratings, force mill effects. One D six, please. Four. He is lightly wounded. He has taken a. From now on, he is no. He no longer has his two activations. He's down to one. Oh. Okay. Um, however, that is a bad thing, and as a bad thing, you must check against your force morale to see if. Uh, to see what happens here. So 1d6. Uh, what is the setback? He is a junior leader. He is wounded. On a 1 or a 2, it's nothing. On a 3 or a 4... A 2. A 2. Nothing happens. They apparently don't like Velker very much. <laughs> they don't mind him being shot. Yes. They, don't, they apparently did not mind him being shot. And I did take off your guy and erase him as dead. So. Yep. Uh, very good. Velker, that was your fire from over here. Yep. Did you have something else? You took off this shock, you put this guy so he could fire. Anything else? Personnel? Oh, yeah, these guys in the weeds. Yeah, they're going to need something. I forgot about them. Yeah, you're, you're hiding them, but you really do kind of need them. Yeah. If I were to say it. Alright. Here they go, they're going to move. Five inches. Hey. The luckiest boy in the world. Alright, I'm done. Wow. Crazy. Big action. Alright. Vance. Three sixes. Holy co okay. How come you gotta do the crazy thing? <laughs> I don't... Three sixes. This ends the turn. So you get to go again, but then right after this, this turn ends. That's actually consequential because these guys are still pinned. Do that's, they run yep. off? I think they're going to bugger off, yeah. I believe that's the case. But that's not where we're at right yet. Vance presently okay. has... Uh, and I got Commando a five. And a one. So all you got is a, a one. one. You got a one. You got a team. You can order a team. For example, this BAR can shoot. The bazooka can shoot. Yeah, no, the BAR. It's, uh, this BAR, your team here. Three dice. Four, five, six. Are you shooting at me? Oh, yeah. You work <laughs> worked that way. All of them. What? <laughs> Two and one, Velker. Nothing. 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 Yeah, heavy cover helps. Yeah! Ah! There we go. Unreal. Unreal. Is that a kill? Smash. Now you gotta roll to see... 1d6. Yeah, it's a kill. You gotta roll to see if it's Ludwig. Nope. It is not. So, however, that does take... Where's... You had one guy left. There he is. So now i got to check. It's 11 versus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so you're still 3 now. All right, now that actually... That ends the turn. Now i got to check something I've never even looked at, which is... <laughs> because, because only Vance could make me do such a thing. Pinned units recheck shock. Yeah, that's the thing, is that I'm kind of... I want to know what that means. Yeah. 
double. Ten. There we go. So they don't have it in the section about pinning itself. It must be an end of turn. The turn ends. There we go. You have to go looking under the turn ends. There we go. A rude interruption. There we go. <laughs> section six. The phase sequence. Turn ends. There we are. Oh, I see. I see. They would have been given an opportunity had he been able... Even if you rally off the shock, you don't become unpinned. That can only happen at turn end. Uh, so... I'm still running off. The so line. you're... No, you're not, actually. You're staying right there. Wah. You're staying right there. Had you been able to rally, let's say you had gotten it down to six points of shock, you would have then been able at this point to unpin. Uh, but because Vance has kept the pressure on, you're still at 11. No, you're still stuck. So you remain pinned. That's what that means. So we stay right okay. there. Uh, you know, if there's been no captured yops, um, pinned units recheck, unbroken. Nope, that's it. And there are no routed leaders. All right, Vance, reroll. We had a turn end. Very exciting. And a whole bunch of two, stuff. two, and a three, and a five. Okay, two, two, and a three. Ah, but I can add those. Can add those twos and make a four. You could. <laughs> Which Ian, we shall do. Ian Jackson indicates you have taken over the role of Dice God today. <laughs> so we will activate uh, Lieutenant Pure mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. And he will activate this front group of gentlemen to blast away at the building. <laughs> <laughs> you realize at this point it's kindling. Um, I think you do. So that Three, was four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nine, nine two. Dice for four, five, six. Rerolling ones. Three, four, five. And I get two for five or six. So it's five. Mm -hmm. Six. six. Velker, three and three. Six possible. Who do you want to raise? I'll start with the rifle then. Oh dear. <laughs> wow. All right. So let's roll 1d6. Is that the sergeant? Yes. Wow. This, this. Yeah, I don't know about this game, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> play this again oh uh, ever you know, <laughs> you know maybe oh oh poor poor sergeant 1d6 what happened to him he died he died no he's wounded no oh. he is wounded that means he may not activate for the rest of the turn uh, come on I, I want him to die <laughs> So you took a shock. Just three, let me kill three him. Three over here. Let him die. Three over here. Fine. Whatever. Another shock. No. They're under heavy cover. Oh. They're under heavy cover. Sorry. So one, All right. two, three, four, five, six. They are broken. He doesn't count. He's unconscious. <laughs> it's... He's not unconscious. <laughs> he's dead. No, no. No, he, he's not dead. I it's want not, him he's to just be wounded. dead. He is merely. He's dead in my mind. Uh, he's dead. No he's he's, for he's this dead world. to you. Is that what you're saying? Yes. He's dead in he's my pining. mind. Uh, he's pining. He's pining for the fjords. 
Two D six plus six. So then what? That's Who does what? I want to oh, sorry, that is Velker. I don't want to take the Force Morale check. Velker rolls 2d6 plus 6. Why? Because you're leaving that building. Oh, okay. Whatever. Seven, Seven plus 6. 13. Oh, it's 13. Ha. Huh. Uh, you got to get back into school as soon as possible. It's come <laughs> on. I, I did fast math. Didn't you... Oh, I can't shoot at them anymore. Correct. Yes. And they are no longer wow. pinned. Wow. I didn't quite hear all the numbers straight. I... They are not pinned. They are broken. So I... Yeah. So let's do some bad things happening, shall we? Yeah. Where's my force morale check? That's what I'm doing. I don't want to do it. All right, section breaks. Uh, I need a 1d6 on the section breaking, please. You always want to roll low for these. Okie dokie. Come on, Oop. it was a 1, but it fell off the table. And then what is it now? 2. 2. It's a 2? Yes. Okay. It is a 2. That means you lose 1, and now you have to check for your junior leader who has been wounded. I lose 1 what? Uh, force morale. Your force morale drops by 1. I want to skip this. This part? You, oh, you're skip. Oh! Which one are you skipping? I, th I don't know. You have to skip one of them. <laughs> you can only skip one. Uh, the, the, you have... You, have, the you already know that's a 1, so that's not the worst. You're also going to have to deal with him being wounded and you being broken. All right, then I'll do with the broken one. All right, broken. so you're going to skip broken. Cash, so he's cashing in his chain of command dice for those who are okay. following along at home. So that's gone. So he gets to skip the one from his unit, the section. Uh, he does, however, have to roll for the uh, junior leader, leader being wounded. Uh, Five. Oh, no. That can't be good. That's only one point. That's only one point. They, he's a junior leader. He's not the... It doesn't matter that much. He's not the whole universe. Uh, and that's it. Because he already, he already paid for the other thing. So. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to cash in my die and end the turn. Yeah, I figured you... That's kind of... <laughs> that's kind yeah. of a dick move, but... <laughs> it, 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 no, it is. But that's the whole point. I mean, that's, that's not wrong. That is not in any way wrong because uh, <clears throat> broken units and leaders route from the table. Why am I not surprised that you would do that? <laughs> <laughs> so what we have here is a team and a section and the leader all routing. So that's, uh, you ready for your bad things, Valker? No, but let's do it anyway. All right, the team, and actually you owe one. That, no, you skipped that one. That's right. So the team breaking. Go ahead. Yeah, do I roll a die? Actually, no, that's, yeah, that's breaking. So where's, where's routing? No, they're already broken. Yeah, so the only thing he's got to pay for is the route. They're yeah. going to leave the table, too, parenthetically. Yeah. But the junior leader routing is indeed a 1d6. So 1d6? Mm-hmm. Rolled a two. A two. Thank you. I was sorry. I had it covered up. Rolled a two. That's another one. So he should have lost a net of two from all this. I'm at six now. Mm-hmm. And obviously these fellows are gone. And at that point... That ended the turn using his mighty chain of command die. All right, who had the turn? It was my turn. That's what I thought. Have you rolled yet? Me? No, I have not rolled. Did you... You, are, you, no, you aren't actually watching this on YouTube, are you, Vance? No, I'm not. Because Haz said, now is the time for Vance to use the chain of command die and end the turn. <laughs> <sighs> so, okay, so that was in the middle of my... 
Yeah, that was you, you just you just do that any old time you want. That's superpowers. Right. So now you go. Okay. Oh, now I now I roll a die. Mm-hmm. What was he? Oh, to cool. Go? It's his turn. Yeah. Why do I get to? Was it not your or, or had you finished? Had you gone? I had done one set of shooting. So then we go back to whatever you had left. Oh, okay. Oh no! But, yeah, that's, I had no, a... that's that's not correct. You ended. No, that's the not turn. correct. Yeah. You ended, I ended the, the turn. turn. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Velcher's yeah. up. Yeah. Yep. That makes up. sense. Two fives. Or a four and a one. Yeah. All right, for my two, I'm going to move these guys in the weeds. Oh, yeah, go back in the building. <laughs> what if that's my plan? Because <laughs> there's not much left of it. It so. worked once. Why won't it work again? Yeah, it worked so well the first time. All right, let's move them. Here we go. Roll dice. I am. Give me three seconds. Can they be seen? Oh, yeah, we can see you. We can shoot at you. Can they? Bad. From where? From the, oh, the, the, the guy. Those guys the... can. These guys, it's the only thing that's giving you absolute cover is the house. The building. Yeah, I can see some of them. Yeah, he could shoot at you. Oh, because I thought the forest gave the, the, the certain distance. Yeah, but you're well outside. That distance is six inches. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> so we're down there. It's forever away. Yeah, it's it's definitely a pile of sticks at this point, Ian. There's no doubt about that. All right, I'm stuck there then. All right. What else are you doing? I'm going to spend my three shooting those guys. <laughs> Getting this angle fire going. Wow, I shot down the Bokad. 14, 14 dice for five or six. Yeah, I shot down the Bokad. No, you didn't. Four but I did. <laughs> didn't. But I did. <laughs> didn't. <laughs> All right, 14 dice for five or six. I'm going. That should be way scarier than it is. That's a lot of sixes. It's the... Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. Five hits. Yep. There's that. Yep. Three and two, I imagine, Vance. The same thing I rolled last time. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, three on the rifleman. Yep. We're in cover. Mm-hmm. Ish. Heavy cover, light cover, cover. Light cover. Four or five shock, six kills. A shock. shock. BAR. And. Two on the BAR team. Mm -hmm. Nothing. That's a shock. Oh, that's right. That's, no, four, uh, yeah, five, four or five or six, shots. isn't it? Nope, four or five. Oh, four, four or five. Four or five shots, yep. six kills. Okay. So where's your BAR dude? He took a shot. All right. Yeah. One each way. All right, Valker, anything else? Nah, I don't think so. All right. I lost. A whole group. You did. I only have two guys now. That's, that's true. That gives you more tactical flexibility. <laughs> that's, that's totally putting sugar on top. Of that. <laughs> Ooh, you six almost is drew to nothing. the straight. You almost drew to the straight. If only he had six uh, guys. <sighs> yeah, that'd be fair. Two, three. Oh, now he's hiding. He assuredly is. <laughs> Can you area fire with a bazooka? You cannot area fire with a bazooka. It's kind of like a mortar, isn't it? Yeah, fire it at it. Fire a bazooka at an Ho angle. It's a horizontal, horizontally fired mortar. Um. Okay, we're gonna use the four. Okay. Four. To activate the Grand Poobah. Lieutenant yeah, Pure. Paducah, whatever mm -hmm. his name is. Where is he? Paducah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he's over there. He's 
He's hiding in so, the whole car. Lieutenant Pure is going to get rid of these uh, shocks. He would that's two. Uh, mm -hmm. Two activations, yeah. That's two activations. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's all he's going to do. With one of the threes, I'm going to activate this group, mm -hmm. and they're going to shoot at whoever's just beyond that building. So it's the there's BAR no team, and don't worry, there's nobody beyond that building. Yeah, there's guys in there for sure. The BAR team and that rifleman. I don't know if this rifleman. Can... Oh. oh, yep, he can see. You actually got a lot of shots. That guy can see. But he can only you can only hit the guy. We're going to have to break this down into a bunch of little shots. Because you can only hit the guys you can credibly see. Yep. So That's okay. All of these guys are going to shoot at the machine gun who's out front. Yeah. You got one, two, three, I think, I'd say. One, well, two, it's actually three, way back to here. Four. Yeah, I'm pivoting. Yeah, you're right. One, two, th sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's almost all the dice. Eight, eight. what's the range, though? Yeah, that's not close. Yeah, it's long range. Yeah, it's long range for them all. Eight dice for five so or six. Eight dice? Mm -hmm. Now, having my leader do this doesn't give them any bonuses, no. right? No. Mm -mm. Three hits and one reroll. Three possibles and one reroll. I re-roll again? Is it exploding yeah. dice or does just, it? Just the one. Fails. Okay, so three possible. On his MG team. Alright. Uh, nope, it gets spread around though. Because this guy is... Does it? Yeah, because he's got a guy right behind him that's a rifleman. Uh -oh. Yeah, so it's three and one. I right, so, so it's a total of three, so it's two and one. Yep, two and one. Two and the right. And on the uh, MG. Nothing. Wow, it's magic. All right. Walking around. And for the. Go ahead. Uh... What am I going to do? I don't know. For the other three, I'm going to move these guys so that they're all up against the Okage. Okay. I hope. He said optimistically. Not with that. You, know, you made the comment about firing at the Bocage with 14 dice. The problem is, he's firing essentially blindly. True. Well, and he can't roll dice today. That's true. But I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> wow, I didn't hear a thing. <laughs> I didn't hear any of your hurtful statements. Uh, that's, that's that. <laughs> so you're good? Velker. Are you through shooting? No, he's done. Uh, ah. Wow. Magic. 
Next turn is yours. Yeah! So I got a two and a three. Mm-hmm. My two will be these guys entering the building. Okay. Attempting. Entering the building. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think he does it. I think he's got there, yeah. All right. I can't see. These trees are mean. Get on the ground. Yeah, you're fine. He does. He doesn't. He does not, in fact, have the good gun. Oh, interesting. No, he's the rifleman. Oh, oh, ah, uh, oh, aha. Oh, he did. Oh, he put, the, he, put the, he put the machine gunner right outside the window. Yeah. Ah, Bad yeah. plan. Yeah, the valuable guy is out on the front lines. I see. All right. Big leader man himself is in the back. Because you know he can't. Okay, so you're going to put two guys there. Got it. Because I can't what? Okay, uh, no. Um, Obergefreiter Oscar Zimmer couldn't yeah. reach you. Yeah. I'm like, you're not putting him in the window, are you? <laughs> it's bad enough he's at <laughs> risk sitting where he is. Remember, you can't use the Panzerfaust in a building. What garbage is that? You seen them fire? No, in fact, I've never seen a Panzerfaust. Okay. Lots of flame comes out the back end. <laughs> it's the is original. That when they it's not. No, not when they melt. It's not fun it's... for everybody else. That's a feature, not a bug. Yeah. What? All right, so that's a two. What's your three? Uh, pew pew. Yep, fourteen dice for we. This we got nailed. 14 days for a 5 or a 6. I click so fast. That's a lot of kids. That's 4 or 5. That's the five. same roll as is. last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. 3 yeah. on the rifleman? Got it. What'd you put that there for? Expecting that to happen? I don't know. <laughs> See, look at that. Look at that, nothing. And then two on the BAR. On the BAR. Aha! Oh. Yep. Hey, smarty. Spit in the face of fate. Let's see what it gets you. Where's your BAR anyway? There it is. Okay. Is that it, Volker? Yep. Oh, I was done. It's his turn. Oh. It's my turn? You, got, you rolled two sixes, remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's his turn again, right? Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. And it's your he turn did it again. again. Yes! Nasty. Get got. This could hurt. All right. This, this one guy's going to boost. So these guys here? Yeah. Who, who's first? The 14 guys. 14 dice? You, well, you know the, you know the drill. Six? Six. He broke through. He broke yeah. through. Three and three. Tell me my which. Record. On the rifleman. Two shark. B A R. B A R team. Three shark. Ooh. Ooh. That be, now that's the that's the case again. Sharing it right. Yep. All right. Then the other guys who actually some people in the house. Uh, you do. They're going to shoot at those guys. Yeah, that's the interesting question. That's where you want them to go. Yep. Okay, because you got you're building it up over there. All right. Yeah, but those guys don't have cover over there. Yeah, they do. Yeah, this. this yeah, all, they do. This is all light cover. Is that the same as the yeah, other guys? Yeah, it's light cover, yep. light cover. The oh. only difference here is this is a minor obstacle rather than a the the one you got to spend the whole turn crossing. All right, then I will shoot the guys who I was building up on. Okay. That's, that was my question. Yeah. And I want to shoot my Panzerfaust. You can't shoot a Panzerfaust in a building. I want to shoot my Panzerfaust. <laughs> oh, okay. You're stating that you want to. We, we, I respect that. 
the uh, one, two, ten. So that's fourteen, or Again. twelve. Twelve is math. Twelve. Wow, hard math. It is fourteen total. Yeah, I, I think you should get to school and soon as. Yeah, I, I, I too, too need to get to school clearly, but that is close range. For yep. Dice one, two. No, fourteen dice. Oh, so it is fourteen. Yep. Yep. Fourteen dice for four, five, six. 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 Another six. Three and three. Rifleman. One. team. One. That's a dead. Two. Oh, it's a kill in a... One dice to see if it's the commander. It is not. So you got to take somebody off the bar team. It's going to be the gunner I th or the uh, bar assistant. The, the assistant, oh, yeah. The yeah well, yes. He's down. The he's down to the last guy. So now, now we got to start counting. Now we got to start counting. Yeah. It's eight. eight. One, two, three, it's getting there. It is definitely getting there. And and the worst news of all for our friends, the Americans, the Germans go again. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't. I unhole up. If I get it again, you are free to rage quit. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> and he does. Yep. Yes! <laughs> and he gets a command. And you get a chain of command die. This is insane. I don't know what this is. Oh my goodness. But you only get a you only get one three. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah that's 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 the wrinkle See, there. These guys are shooting those guys. Okay, Four, fourteen. Fourteen dice. That's nine. Eight? Nine, I think. Nine? One, two, three, four, five didn't hit. Didn't yeah, hit nine. Yep. So which, Ouch. which way do you want to go? Oh, five and rifles. Okay. Two shock and a kill. See if it's anybody important. Yep. Is it vulgar? Yeah. Nope. It is not. Uh, now you're gonna pull a rifle. You gotta pull off one of the riflemen. Any of these guys? Yep. Anybody within four inches. Yeet the weak man. And, and the four for the BAR. Four for the BAR. One. Eh. That's eleven. That's eleven. Are they gone? Oh, they're pinned. Yep, they're pinned. If I got ten, one, two, three, You've got nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. They're so pinned. Both, both are pinned. Kaboom! Come on, can I turn in now? Doesn't matter. It wouldn't matter. What okay. you want is if they're broken. That's because all they would do is stay pinned, which oh. is what they are. However, uh, so that is your action, pinning them. What's next? That's that was it. Had. That's all he could do. And now I reroll again. Get us another turn. Yeah, he does. The grim well, business. Well, over. Party's over there. That's another chain of command die. Now he's got yep. he's got a new chain of command die locked and loaded. All right. I'm um, making a three. So I got a two, a three, and a four. So for my three, these guys are going through over there. You know the numbers. I've had to click so many times. Wow, that was horrible. Three. Three hits. That was crazy. Now they're in hardcover, recall. There's five. Zeros. Yep, two on a rifle. Uh -huh. oh. oh. Is it anybody important? It's nope. not. Now one over here on the bar gunner. All right, but you got to take off a kill from the rifleman. Yeah. They're they're in a bad way. That's yeah. a lot of pew pew from coming from two big buildings. 
Now, Velker, I've cheated Four, you for many five, turns. Six, seven, eight. One of your two abilities is Machine Gewehr, yeah. which allows you to, if you use two activations from a senior leader, mm -hmm. you can add those two dice to your shot. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So these guys are not going to shoot? 16 dice. Nice. That's if that's if his overall leader shoots. Correct. Command five. Five hits. Three and two. Nothing. And two. Nothing. Yeah. Ineffective fire. That was definitely an even though he had the machine gewehr in hand, that was ineffective fire, no doubt. All right. All right, Vance. Is it finally my turn? I, I think you actually get to do something, Vance. Cool. Whoa. Three fives. Uh, holy chain of command. So that uh, takes you to a full die and Plus one, a, right? another one. So I've done that. That six is wasted, but that leaves you with one three. Four. Okay, well these guys will open fire on the building. I don't think I don't think that's changed. It's still uh, nope. nine and two, right? Nine and two. <laughs> yeah, nine and two for four, five, six. Okay, five, four. That's three, but I get to re-roll two of them. Yeah. That's so powerful. It's a big deal. Three, three hits, yeah. Adds two more. Wow. Four. So that's five. Is it five? Five, five, sorry. Yep. Five, and I get you. And then the other two? Yep. Nothing. Okay. So five. All right, Velker, usual split. Three on the rifles, two on the uh, yeah, I think so. light cover. Four or five shocks, six kills. Ouch. That hurt. Check to see if it's your commander. Take a take a dead out, please. Okay. It's got to be from your rifle. Nope, nope. That's your uh, MG42 rifle. My one MG42. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And now the two on your uh... MG team. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Nice shooting tax. Two shock. Wow. Wow. That was bad. Yeah, it was. That was legitimately bad. That's that's all I could do this round. Yep. Velker. That was legitness. Now, one thing I would point out to you, you can activate, yeah, if you, you've got this senior leader in here, yeah. who you probably want to do the machine gewehr with, uh -huh. but if it were to come to it, and this is relevant for Vance too, you can activate a junior leader solely for the purpose of taking shock off. Right. So, just to make that point. Have we done that before? Okay. Yeah, Velker's done that in the in the house. Okay. Velker? In that last group. All right. One, two, three, four. So, I've got a th two threes and a four. Yep. My first four will be these guys shooting at the 16 dice. 16. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, if you can hit them. Those guys, those guys are the most ground and fate can make them. Yeah, except oh. that. Five, Seven? Seven? Seven hits. Is it seven? Yeah. Four and three. Rifleman. Ouch. Three dead. Oh. Roll to see if you got Velker. Ian Hamilton is suddenly very excited. Nope. No, you didn't, but you got to take off three guys. That's, that's 
That is a lot of damage. Are they gone? Yeah. Oh, they, they might be. Well, we'll have to see. Six. Close. Not quite. One so that, that's a three, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I gotta run. And now three on the... Mm -hmm. they're, they're gone. Yeah, they're gone. They're gonna run. And... Two. I have to lose if I have a chain of command die. Well, you're gonna wait, though. Because you're gonna, you're gonna have to wait for just one second. Uh -huh. Because, first, he's gotta roll 2d6 and add six. And that's how far back those guys are going. How far will you run? Terrain doesn't matter. Six. So 12 inches back. Here, roughly. Facing obviously the wrong way. We mark them as broken. So that's a bunch of bad things, as we can well imagine. So these are all 1d6s. Vance, you want to roll low. A team has broken, so you roll a 1d6. I can use my 6 to avoid something? Uh, at, at, yeah, so what you're going to be rolling for, actually, it's not, yeah, it's, it's, going, to be a, it's going to be a section breaking. That's what you're going to want to roll okay. for. And you're going to be rolling for a junior leader. The worst of these is going, actually, you know, you don't, because he's neither wounded, killed, nor is he routing. That happens at the end of the turn. Yep. Um, so there's only the one. It's only then the section breaking. So do you wish to uh, avoid that? Yeah, I'm going to... The section. Okay. Cancel the section. All right, so that's it then. That is all she wrote. So those guys booked the heck out of there. Um, they are broken. Velker, now, if you wanted to, you could do it. All right, I will end the turn. All right, so he's burning a die to end the turn. The, yep. the, the official registered jerk move, as he put it. The, uh, <laughs> you have another one coming. Uh, um, so these fellas have now left the board. Uh, and Vance, you are obligated to roll for a leader, a junior leader having routed. One die? Mm-hmm. Two. That is one that is one off your force morale. Okay. He's at seven, I'm at six. How? Velker, you're up. That was the end of the turn. But I just had my turn. So no, it's mm -hmm. my turn now, then. It's my turn. Oh, you he, were his shooting. Shot, that's, that's, that's right. He was his shooting. shooting did that. Yep, forgive me. Yep, you're up, Vance. After turns, he... No. Two sixes no. and three threes. That's a perfect roll. Yeah, that's man. about perfect. I mean, I suppose you want your chain of command stuff, but jeez, just straight firepower. Right. that is pretty much the best you can get. All of these guys are gonna jump the hedge. All right. That just yeah, that's that. All right. Cool. That's a three. All of these guys are going to shoot at the building. I don't think anybody's died, so it's nine for uh, four, five, six. Oh, there we go. Seven. Four and three. Nope, six. 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 And then two more. Oh, and we're in two. Yep. Yeah, two more. And a reroll. Seven. Eight. Eight. Four and four. Which one do you want? I'll start with the rifle. I don't understand. Oof. Two. Check to see if it's two a Two and a kill. Nothing. All right, got to pull out a rifle. Shock on the MG. How are they doing now? Eight. They're exactly eight. eight. They're fine. I survive. Uh -huh. Take that. Uh, wait. One more. Different. All right. And he's got another. Now it's my turn again. Uh, yeah, it is. I 
gonna die. I get a. I will use a four to bring my lieutenant into action. Okay. Who orders the bazooka to fire at the house? <laughs> two dice. For two d six. <laughs> yes, two d six for four five six. Oh, it only does two hits. Two possible. Two po Remember, uh, that's doubled. So that's... Yeah, well, which one? Yeah, so it's two. two. One and one. Yep. Nope. Nope. Okay. And he also activates this front group. Or nine just, and two. I gotta mark down his ammo real quick. Go yep. ahead. So he's waking these guys up to shoot. Yep. Nice pile. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I think I saw one in there. And there's a one in there? Yep, so six, we roll that one. Seven. Yep. And then two more. Nine. Roll one. Four, seven. Eight. Four and four, nope. Velker. No, they're five, six. No, they're five, six. Oh, that's right. They're, they're at that longer range. That's why they're there. They're longer range. Four and so three. it's seven. Four and three. Right Whoa! <laughs> wow. Oh, 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 oh. I... Wow, it just came into the building the hard way. Holy cow. Wow. Well, there's not much left of that building. One shot. <laughs> Th roll a three to see who's which commander is this to see if Zimmer catches it. Fine. Oh, he seems to be good. Uh, th still, you got to take Dragon out three guys, out. and that's gonna obviously pin them. Oh, now four on those uh, on that machine. No, gun. Three, three on the MG three team. On the MG. Three on the MG. Nothing. Oh, one. That one. Yeah. That one shot. And they break. Or yeah, they break. Oh, that's yeah. double. Yeah, that's that's doubling. So, uh, one d uh, one two d six plus six. Wow, nine. You move nine inches straight back. That is a section breaking Velker, 1d6. Nice gifted. You can. You want to spend it? No, you it doesn't have, have a dime. You don't have one. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's ungentlemanly. 1d6. I almost you. No! Ooh, that's two. Four. Here's now he's two. in the red. That means. What's that do? Oh, here it comes. Every step down now, starting here. No, he now has four, three chain of command dice. Chain of command dice, he rolls, epic. No, oh. two, one. Actually, it's, sorry, I missed the count by one. It's five, four, three. No, yeah, it's five, five four, dice. three, two, yep. one. So he's down to four So he's dice. rolling four dice. He's rolling four dice. And for my last one. Uh, this squad is going to pile up against the, uh, go towards the house and pile up against them. Oh gosh. Yep. 2d6. Wow. That's an 11. Yeah, you said what you were going to do, so it's clear enough. Oh, hello. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least Vance decided this one was going to come to an end. <laughs> I give him credit for that. Chicken. What are you talking about, chicken? It's a... <laughs> he's he's looking at you. You're not coming from out. From a, he's, uh, he's looking at you through the window. You're not coming from out of the bocage. You're not just running at me. Oh, oh, oh okay. 
Uh, Wait, can I hand grenade him from here? You couldn't cross the obstacle. Lame. That's what I was counting on. That's yeah. what I was counting on. Yeah, well, just think about it in real life. You seriously, yeah. you seriously think you could melee through the bocage? Lame. I don't. I nope. do not. I want to throw my grenades over the bocage. I, I, I know. <laughs> you could throw a grenade over there. Really? Wow. Sure. You whip grenades. Yeah, every, every soldier's got three grenades. Really? Yeah. That's a lot of grenades. Not yeah. really. They're not that big. Yeah, but they're... That's... Wait, how big is that explosion? No, it's craters? not that big. I mean, you've watched no. too many Hollywood movies. I mean, they, they don't blow up buildings. People don't go flying? Right, right. No. Well, it's like in Waterloo when every cannonball somehow explodes. It sends it flying. <laughs> it's like, what? How does that happen? Uh, Velker, I think it's your turn, yeah? It's four your turn, dice. sir. Is it my turn, though? No, it's four dice, not five. I want five. I understand. That's not Wow. wow, yeah, I mean, considering what you had to work with. Right. Wow, that was, oh. what's happening? My dice on my... And you got your, your back working on a chain of command dice. There you go. All right, I'm going to pew pew these guys. So who can see? It's these guys here. That, can I move guys? In yeah, nope. If you move one die, which you can do, you move one die, you fire at half effect. That's what I'm going to do. All right. So these guys can all move at one die. They're going to fire at half effect. <laughs> one inch. You're kidding me. <laughs> oh. Whoever you move fires at half effect. That's one inch. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> got it to the window. I was going to saw there. Yep. Got it to the window. Comes crashing through the window. Take that, Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> nerd? Where, did, where does this hate come from? So what have you got? You've got a machine gun and two riflemen. Yeah. Three. Thank you very much. Yeah, but only two can shoot out. Why? Oh, yeah, you have the machine gun out the window. Oh, yeah. No, it's two riflemen or the machine gun out the window. That's the rules. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay, Total of, it's dice. still 12 dice. I pew pew you, sir. No, no, no. Now, no, now it's no, six. No. Is, that with his, six. is that with his panzer saw move? This is this guy, so it's six dice. Got three hits. Yeah. Three hits. You can wow. see, see the lot of them. Um, so three hits. You want to do the usual two, split? Two in the rifle? Yep. Nothing. And one on the bar. And one. Nothing. All right. Now, that's over this way. These guys can still shoot Vulker. Really? Yeah. They're part. These guys are firing this way. These guys can fire this way. But those guys are broken. Yeah, they don't. I don't know as they can. That's see. a long way to shoot. I'm not sure they can't see them though. They're out there. I'm hitting the fur of the bokeh. Doesn't matter. It's cover, but it's not. Yeah, because they're see they're snug up against it. Well, yeah, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. No shot. Very good. So those guys moved as far as they could and shot on your four. Did you have anything else? I don't think so. Okay. Bring your Prancer Shrek outside so you can shoot. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I move and shoot? With the Prancer Shrek? Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> Hello. Wee! Uh, he's, he got the order. Uh, what's your Panzer Shrek got for HE? I didn't look it up. I doesn't matter. I'm just going to roll dice and hope I hit something. <laughs> I understand where, I understand your your state of mind at this point. I can't say as I blame you for it, but this is a little nuts. Where's that thing? There it is. Yeah, it's the same. Two dice for four, five, six. But it will not double hits. How many dice is it? Two dice. Two dice. Pew, pew. Impossible. One hit. Reduce, Hello. Reduces the rifle? The nice thing is it reduces, it reduces cover. It's up to you on who it hits. Oh. Rifleman. Yeah. 1d6. No, the... Nothing. Nothing. 
Sorry, don't you give me a double? No, because he's not indoors. But he's behind Flora. Uh... Yeah, he's gonna get a splinter. I don't he's, like your pretty flowers. He's gonna, gonna get, get splinters. Splinter. He's gonna get a splinter. Yeah, right in the eye, and it's going to go into his brain and kill him. Dude should be a little. Are you crazy. through? He's through. You're up. Whatever, man. <laughs> That die and two threes. So this squad back here uh -huh. is going to move as fast as they can in this direction. Got it. In fact, uh, no, they're not going to run. They're just going to roll two dice. Whippy. Zoom. Suddenly there's Mario music. Bring it on. And these guys are going to open up on the house. All right. Well, that's the whole So that should be there. 8 plus 3 is 11. Uh. Yeah, my leader's behind. Oh, you're leaving them behind. Got it. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. No, it should be twelve because you got the BAR, right? One, two. Yeah, three, so there's four, there's five, eight guys, eight riflemen. Five, six, seven. Oh, nine riflemen. Eight. Nine riflemen and yeah, it's twelve. Twelve dice. Twelve, yeah. twelve dice. Four, five, six. And none of them is. There we go. Seven? Seven. Is it? Yep, I count seven. Yeah, seven. So, uh... Four on the What do you one. got in here? You've got... This Shrek perversely... Yeah, actually, they're in range. So right. you've got to split this up three ways, Velker. You've got to split mm -hmm. it to the Shrek team, the the leader, the MG team, and the <laughs> Rifleman. All right. So it's two, two, three. You tell me. Not three, three, one. Nope. All right. It's got to be even. <laughs> All right. Two on both the Panzer Shrek and the MG and then three on the rifles. All right. So who do you want first? Start with the Panzer Shrek. Five shots. Six kills. Ah! That's on the rifles. Check to see if it's dude. Right. No, no, that was Panzer Shrek. Oh, that was Panzer Shrek? Okay. So you still have to check if it's dude. He's in range. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. All right, so that does take down your uh, your Panzer Shrek loader. Got it. <gasps> All right, uh, the rifles for three, or yeah, for three. Kill! Ah! One die. I have no shock, but. Right, and the MGs. No, no, one die for. Oh, no, no. Okay. That's that's fine. Let's count for the MGs. It's a kill. Wow. <laughs> So one for the rifles. And it's not dude. Nope. Okay, and one for the MG. Nope. Bruh. Three kills. I, I, so who so who so who are you taking out of the rifleman? I don't know, man. It's a bug hunt. It's a bug hunt. And then of the M and then of the, the MG guys. This guy. Alright. That was eventful. I'm dying. You're dying over I'm here. I'm falling and I can't get, get up. up. Yeah, no kidding. It's your turn. Velker. Really, man? Four, four dice. Wow. I'm... Four dice. Four dice. That's a horrible roll anyway. It's the same thing, but with yeah. one fewer three. You've only got... <laughs> Honestly, you've only got the one unit, so... Right. Although, down here, remember, you should always be thinking about rolling. You might as well take any free threes to roll off. Or is he the one that's wounded? No, he's wounded. That's right. I have Shrek. Oh, no, that's right. He's alive. Yeah, okay. Zimmer's fine. So you can use one of those. It depends how you want to play it. But can you I can use... Well, what you can do is use this three to take off two points of shock from these guys. 
which you might as well do. Dirt, meat sack, and Both of them are... Yeah, both of them are on the engine. Got it. And then over here, you can turn those two twos into a four and really get some business going with Reich, because he can go three. Sure, let's do that. So who do you want to have shoot? All right, uh, the gunner... Okay, so if he does that, he can use two of his three to do machine gevere, yep. which adds his two. So right, that's be 13. 10. Yes, 13. That's three. <laughs> that's not, in fact, the number All I right, want. you can add 10 more to this. No, I don't want to use this. Yes. Yes, you do. That's what you got. <laughs> 10 more. That's not so bad. One, two, Five? Three. Five, yeah. Three and, two? Th three and two? Yep. Unless all of them kill, I don't That's shock. Three shocks. It is. Yeah, so VAR team. Two more shocks. Shot. That's, that's not insubstantial. It's not. Yeah. the BAR gunner. There he is. I mean, shoot, that's halfway to pinned. All right. Is that it? Yep. Vance, you're up. Three sixes. And the turn will end. You've done that twice. That's amazing. Here comes a four. So three sixes. I got a one. Yeah, a team. Wow. Well, my BAR team <laughs> shoots at the Panzer Shrek team. <laughs> this dude that's sitting shoots, out here in the it open. shoots it, dude. Three dice. Is that? Yeah, it's close what, range. At what? Three dice for four or fives. Ah. Two dice. He's out he in the has, open. Yeah, he has. It doesn't matter. That's what's going to kill him when it comes down to shock. Remember? Okay. Um, but anyway, he actually has two damage. That we've not seen this before. Um, but this is actually a well, minus right. a minus one because every two points of shock cost him a die. Right. So three dice. So two dice at four, five, six. A six. One hit, three to five shock, and six kills. Because he's standing in the open. Shock. Shock. All right. Ah, spooky, scary bullets coming at my face. Whatever. Well, you, you're the one that ran outside. <laughs> I'm allergic to bullets. Uh. Can't you be? <laughs> and that ends the okay, turn. So and it's a turn, so these, so the, these broken guys dudes leave. are done for? Yep. And that means Velker has to make a roll. One, one, one. one. Junior leader routes. That's the best result he could have gotten, but that takes him down. One. So it's the same thing. It didn't change <laughs> anything. It's a, it would have had you gotten more. You still want to do it because it doesn't cost anything. It did cost me something. And it's my turn, right? Uh, that's cor It was the end of the turn, and you you did I rolled have the three... next phase. What? Yeah, he, he rolled the two Just sixes. It's his phase. All the sixes. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Wait, one... There's another five. Three twos. Three twos and a three, which makes one of them a four. Ooh. So for the two, I'm going to use this section to move these guys. Give me one second. I want to check on yep. one thing as to what the effect of... There, that's what I wanted. What What's your morale now, Velker? My morale currently is three. Yeah, so now you are down to three command dice. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Uh, all right, so... So I'm going to use a two mm -hmm. to 
to move this section. Yep. That's better. Oops. There. I'm going to use the four I built to move to activate uh, Lieutenant Pure. Mm -hmm. He's going to order his bazooka team to move mm -hmm. up behind this other section. Mm -hmm. Or not. <laughs> Movement rolls have not been big this this game. He's going to move himself. Not bad. Oops. Seven. Doesn't get him close enough. Damn it. And I'm going to use the three... To activate uh, Corporal Dumkey mm -hmm. to take off uh, Shock. All right. Uh, just one off, one right. off each. Got it. Done. That's it. All right, Valker. Three dice. Well, it's a four. But, well, basically, you can only use the four as a practical matter because you've got this guy. Mm -hmm. That's true. All right. Uh, I'm ordering this guy mm -hmm. with my three inside. Well, going to have to roll for it. So he's got three things. You take off one inch because of the shock, but then that's fine. He can move four inches. He's inside. Yep. Check it. <laughs> you hurted me. You hurted him. So that's one. You and yelled outside and said, "Get your stupid self in here." I want to shoot rifles. I mean, I mean, wow. Ugh. Who do you want to have shoot? I, whoever can, man. All right. So you're going to use machine. Well, it makes a difference because you've got. Remember, you got to roll for that. Another. It's a different guy. Mm -hmm. ah. No, it's fine. You can tell him to move and shoot if you want him to. Whatever, I'll do it another turn. All right. So right now, well, no, like I say, you're activating this group. Okay. Right. So if you want these guys to shoot and use two of his activations, that's fine. Then these guys over here. Oh, that's right. No, if he's going to use machine gewehr, it's got to be he's got to use both his activations over here. Yeah. Yep. All right. So I have thirteen of those guys. Yep. You do. The one thing that he hasn't done is put shock. No, he doesn't. He doesn't anymore. He doesn't have thirteen anymore. He's got 10, 11, 12. 11, 12, 13, Sorry. Thirteen. Yep. yep. All right. Sorry. Ignore me. So one thing you haven't done is put the shock on him. Oh, boy. Whoa! That's eight? That's an eight, yep. Yep, four and four. Four on the rifles. Two. And four on the BAR. That's another two. That's a lot. Yeah, it is. They're, they're definitely starting to think about the wisdom of Corporal Dumkey's plan. Yes. <laughs> Is that it? Yep. A five, which gives me my die. Mm -hmm. Six. Uh, a four, a three, and a one. Come on, come and get me. So for the four, we're going to get uh, Lieutenant Pure again. Mm -hmm. He is again going to order his bazooka team to try and move. All right. Uh, 
And they're still dawdling. He's going to try and move himself. That's better. He's going to uh, activate these guys to move mm -hmm. closer down here. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Dos. Dos. You got nowhere. They're not interested in Dumpkey's plan either. And I have a three left over. Oh, I might have to look that up. You may be right about that, Bob, that a Faust may not have that uh, that problem. Yeah, you're right, a Shrek does, but a Faust may not. Go ahead. It's spring it's spring fire, isn't it? That's true. You may be able to No, fire it's it. no it's No, you can't I don't think you can fire one of those in the building. I don't know. I'll take a look. Um So Demke's gonna Activate again, mm -hmm. and remove one each. Uh, uh, one each. Got it. Now, can this team now activate by itself? No. So I have a one. No. Yeah, because yeah, you you act. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, you can you can activate the team. Yes, because Dumpkey okay. has just rallied Shock off. That is not that does not count as. Well, actually, that's that's what that distinction is on the chart. I'm pretty sure that does not count as an activation. Pretty sure. Leader action, not activation. Rally one shock, correct. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I'm gonna take a shot. It's free with Dow. The uh, it's only one die though. Ooh, right. It's two dice. Oh, yeah, rally one shock from a team he is attached to. Yep. All right. So, uh, what what was your total? It's gonna be minus. The, it's gonna be minus two. The, Oh, the BAR minus team. Two? That's right. The BAR team. Yeah, the BAR team is three, uh, so that's minus one, two. Yeah. Gets one. All right. Uh, Valkyrie's firing right at your MG gunner, so that's where it's going. All right. One, one, one. Mm -hmm. one die. He's good. Oh. Nice try, B.A.R. guy. Yeah, B.A.R. guy. Yeah, that's what his job is. Sure. Velker, three dice. That's all right. Like this is a little slow going. Let's fix that. Can I jump out the window? <laughs> yes, <laughs> you can, actually. Yeah? Sure. You didn't leave through a window. It just it's not, it counts as an obstacle. So does that mean I have to get rid of the lower number? Yeah, exactly. Right, my, I'm going to move. Wait, wait. Tell me what you're doing. I'm just, I, what do you mean? What are you doing? I want to order all these guys. Come over here and then hide. Well, then why don't you surrender? At that, but that's what you want to do. Well, just, that's, that's, that's the equivalent. It's my last chance. No, because... The problem is you you're not going to get there. As a practical matter, you're not going to roll that many. You're not going to roll that high. The best you can get is six inches. You can't get there. From the door. No, he can come through a window. Oh, from the window, right? That's how is this so far? It looks such a like, tiny distance. It's not. <laughs> You could go on a merry stroll no, no. in 10 seconds. So so shoot or surrender. I have to leave now anyways, guys. Oh, do you? Do you? All right, then I will yeah. surrender. All right, well, he's got to go. He's got to... <laughs> well, well, I tell you what. Let's let him, he let's, surrenders. Let's let him take the one shot. <laughs> let's let him take the one he shot. He surrenders. Ha -ha. That'll be it. Uh, I'm just curious to see how it comes out. 13 dice. Not 
Not well. Three. Three hits. Two and one. Two in the rifles. Oh, kills one. Ooh, 1d6 to see if it's the dude. It is not the dude. All right, so we'll just pull off a rifleman. And one on the BAR. Does nothing. All right, so we see we wound up with a total of five. That's obviously more than enough. And Velker is sort of at Fort Apache now with Vance with a more or less intact squad plus a, a, an untouched squad and a team. It would have been only a matter of time. Well, that's chain of command. So Vance, I'm curious. What do you think? Yeah, that's fun. That's easy to play. It's like, and it's very similar to Sharp. So you're right. It was very easy to pick up. Cool. Cool. So uh, we're going to do some others. I don't know when. I don't know exactly how. But I definitely appreciate Vance coming along to play on a Monday afternoon. Thank you, as always, to Velker for coming along to play. Um, yep. The next thing I want to do is add in supports, uh, particularly mortars. And then we're going to get really crazy and add vehicles. Because, obviously, they have, you know, it's an infantry-based game, but they've got tanks in supporting roles, and they can obviously have the nasty effects tanks have with squishies. What's going on for the rest of the week? Uh, we have games set up Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Hooray! Wednesday night, uh, two of them are to the strongest, and one of them is actually a sharp practice. Uh, one of the Swamp Fox scenarios for the American War of Independence. So, hopefully, folks will come along for that. I, I'm curious to see who stuck around for three hours. 13 people. You people are crazy. You people are crazy. That's four hours, isn't it? We're at that's, five? That's three. It was three. We were, yeah. Oh, we're heading to four. Yeah, we were heading to four yeah. hours. Oh, my goodness. Um, even with all the learning and all that other stuff, you stuck around, and I really do appreciate it. Thanks a bunch. And uh, before I say goodbye to Vance, I want to say to everybody, come around the next time. Hope you're heading into a great new year. And uh, hopefully we'll talk very very soon. Take care of yourselves and one another. We'll see you.